Aha! The spell is working. Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Oh! A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Oh, really? Where? Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets. Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? Remember, if you ever wish to alter your appearance in the future, simply pay a visit to the Magic Mirror Shop in the Shopping District. All right, then. What is your name? Well, hello, if it isn't our newest student. My name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. We're expecting great things from you, but first things first. To move around, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Try it now. My owl friend would like to speak with you. Walk up to Gamma and follow his instructions to talk. Hello! My name is Gamma the Owl, and I am quite pleased to meet you. Wizards test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. Oh! How odd. Hmm. Come along, young wizard. Let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. You'd best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower! Who's there? Malister. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spill cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. Run up and confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. You've drawn these spells from your deck. Quickly! You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malastair's henchmen by clicking on him. Oh my, you're hurt. You'll need to pay attention to your current health. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. 
The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Well, mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh, my! Call me a fool! I had all but forgotten. Uh, where were we, then? Oh, right. Attack his henchmen again. Aha! You doddering fool! Your student is no match for my forces! Oh, no. You're in trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spell and cast it on yourself. It will replenish your health. You've let the young whelp heal. Defeat the whelp or you'll suffer for it. Use your spells to weaken the young wizard's spells. Here, young wizard. Take some more pips. They power your spells. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now, pick another spell and cast it at one of them. That spell reduced the power of your own spell. At last, you fools earn your keep. Now, finish the child. Cast this Balance Blade spell on yourself. It will increase your next spell's power. This one learns fast, Malistair. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this Meteor Strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the pips to cast it with. With the Balance Blade spell you've already cast, the Meteor Strike spell should finish them off. Cast it now. Excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less. Another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. He's gone, and none too soon. What sinister goal brought him here? Hmm. Oh, my. You look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. On the bright side, congratulations. Defeating Malastare's henchmen has earned you some experience. This experience bar will help you track your progress. When the bar fills up, you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. Now, do you have any questions, young wizard? What's that? You don't know how to speak? Oh, my pardon. Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat, and we'll see what you have to say for yourself. This is the menu chat button. Click on it to say something. You have the way of it. 
Now you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. You can also hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. You'll also need a spell book and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. There's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. Oh, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? See you soon. Welcome to Ravenwood Academy, young wizard. <laughs> and normally, this is where you'd be enrolled and sent to your classes. But times are not normal. There's some kind of supernatural incursion in Unicorn Way that must be dealt with immediately. I wonder. You've demonstrated such potential, I think practical experience will serve you better than lectures. Care to put your talents to the test? Splendid. Time is of the essence, so I'll teleport you there directly. Seek out Private Connolly, the wizard city guard in charge of that area. Welcome to Unicorn Way. There are creatures here who will attack you if you get too close to them, so stick to the task at hand. Whoa, 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 young student. The street's very dangerous right now. Is there something I can help you with? Wizard, do you see the symbol above Private Connolly's head? That means he has something important to tell you. Go speak with him. What's that? You say the headmaster sent you to help us? Well then, you're just the person Oh, wizard, I've been waiting for. This used to be a pleasant street, but we've been invaded by hordes of strange creatures. The guards and I have been doing our best to push the creatures back, but we're no match for their dark magic, especially the undead. <gasps> Maybe your fancy wizard magic will do the trick. Go battle a few of those lost souls, then report back to me. Good luck! To battle the monsters, run up to them on the street. When you get close enough to them, they will summon a combat sigil, and you will be pulled into combat. If you want to avoid battle, you can keep safe by staying on the sidewalk. If you can drive away some of these lost souls, we'll be in your debt. by a mere student wizard. <laughs> Come, souls, let's get lost somewhere safer. <laughs> While your character is transparent, you are safe from combat, but it only lasts for a short time. Get to the sidewalk before it wears off. That's turned the tide. We'll follow your lead and start pushing these ghostly things back. But I'm worried we won't be able to drive the phantoms away for good without knowing why they're attacking us. We've got to find out what's behind this. Another intrepid student, Siri Nightchan, also came to help. Maybe he's learned something useful. Oh, hey there, I'm Saren. You're new here, aren't you? Well, I for one am very glad you're here. I couldn't help but notice how you took down those lost souls. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by your spell-slinging skills. 
When I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way, I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Puh! Yar! No, thank you! Pirates give me the heebie-jeebies! Excuse me, did I hear you two talking about skeletal pirates? If you're going to face them, please come talk to me first. It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? Great! I'll mark their location on your map. Thank you so much for doing this. Good luck! Ooh, press M to access your map. You'll notice several points of interest, including the locations of enemies. Because you'll be engaging in combat, it's imperative you know how to regain health and mana. If you need to boost your health, collect the red wisps you see along the street. Ooh, if you need mana, collect blue wisps. Remember, casting spells costs mana, and fleeing combat drains it completely. So keep your reserves full. Go battle a few of the skeletal pirates on Unicorn Way. The guards will appreciate a report on their combat tactics. Yarr! Purly, purly! Ye got guts, little wizard. More than us, to be sure. But ye be no match for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> Oh, wow! You made it back! I mean, uh, how'd it go? What did you learn? The pirates warned about a rattle in the darkness? See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. What is clear is that some evil magic has emerged here, and we're going to need more than a handful of guards to stop it. There is a powerful, ancient being who may be able to help us understand the dark forces we're facing, the wise seraph, Lady Ariel. Not only does Lady Ariel possess strong magic, she's also the warden of the fairies, and they keep her well informed. Perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness. Go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of Unicorn Way. Halt! What purpose brings you into our hedge maze? Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. The evil forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. Vile bone cages have appeared along Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious dark magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages. Then bring me fairy dust from those it corrupted. It may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. Once you've dispelled the bone cages and collected the fairy dust, return to me immediately. Good luck, young wizard. May the light guide you. You hear a tiny, joyful voice call your name. Thank you for helping us, kind wizard. Your courage and benevolence will not soon be forgotten by the fairy folk.
you've cemented your reputation as a hero to the fairy folk, young wizard. With the bone cages dispelled, I can help the other corrupted fairies in time. Now we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me examine the fairy dust. Is that? But how? The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic vanished from this world long ago. Could it be? Rattle in the darkness? Rattle bones. In life, a ruthless tyrant who was banished to the underworld for his crimes. If I focus, perhaps I can sense his location. Oh, so much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. Siren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way. Perhaps he can help. You must hurry. Here, take this broom. It will allow you to travel to Siren much faster. Now fly, and may the light guide you. You've received a temporary mount that will expire after one day. You can also purchase permanent mounts from mount vendors or the crown shop. To equip a mount, press B to open your backpack. Next, click on the mount tab and double click on the mount you wish to use. Quickly, you must ride to Siren at once. Ask him if he knows of a tower ringed in bones. Go. Hello! You were gone for so long, I was beginning to worry you'd run off and join the skeletal pirate crew. But what did Lady Oriel have to say? Oriel thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked. Let me think. He's in a tower, ringed in bones. Well, the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. My thrall, this could be the tome Ballister seeks. Now we, what's this? A wizard? Excellent. I could use a combat break. Let's play. <laughs> You haven't heard the last rattle in the darkness. <laughs> in his haste to leave, Rattlebones dropped the tome he was holding. It could be important. Perhaps Saren will know what should be done with it. As you walk back onto Unicorn Way, you can't help but notice that the dark magic that was previously choking the street seems to have abated. You did it, didn't you? You beat Rattlebones! The darkness plaguing Unicorn Way is lifting! Look! With Rattlebones defeated, the guards should be able to drive away the rest of the undead horde. Ooh, that tome looks important. You should take it to the library in the commons. Harold Argleston will know what to do with it. Well, hello there. I don't think I've seen you in the library before. I'm Harold Argleston, Master Librarian Extraordinaire. You say you recover this tome from an underworld tyrant who is going to give it to his dark master, Malister? My, my, I, I, I do believe this is a matter for Headmaster Ambrose. You should take the tome to him at once. Uh, but before you go, <laughs> allow me to reward you for your heroics. Please accept this treasure card on behalf of the denizens of Wizard City.
Treasure cards are special, one-use spells of various schools. You can purchase treasure cards from vendors, or craft them yourself. Press P to open your spell deck. Treasure cards are listed under a special tab, and are placed into the sideboard of your deck. During combat, right-click a regular card to discard it. Then select Draw to bring out a treasure card from your sideboard. Remember, unlike regular spell cards, treasure cards can only be used once. So, use them wisely. Oh, good. You're back. I'm anxious to hear your update on Unicorn Way. Evil darkness summoned from the underworld? Oh, my. Rattlebones, you say? But he was banished centuries ago. How could... He... Oh, malice there. Of course. But why? Rattlebones was searching the Unicorn Way archive for this tome. Let me see what it is. On the trail of the Order of the Fang. Oh, my stars. I will certainly look into this. While I do that, you need to attend to the matter of your long-delayed enrollment. If you are to truly master your magical talents, we must induct you officially into our academy. I'll send you now to Mr. Lincoln, our registrar in Ravenwood. He will introduce you to our professors and help you begin your studies. From time to time, you'll see icons appear on the right side of your screen. These are tooltips. Click on a tooltip to open it. Many people throughout the spiral will contact you through tooltips to announce new features, events, or spell quests. If you miss a tooltip, look for it in your tooltip log by pressing Q and clicking the top left icon. Potion flasks, like the one I just gave you, can be used to replenish your health and mana without returning to a non-combat area. If your potion flask runs out, you can replenish it by playing mini-games in the fairgrounds. Oh, and most importantly, make sure they are completely full, with a top on them or you cannot use them when you need them. Ah, you must be the new student I've heard so much about. You made quite a name for yourself on Unicorn Way. I'm Mr. Lincoln, and I just have some quick paperwork to get you enrolled. Signature here, initials there, and a lock of hair here. Are you allergic to unicorns or eyes of newt? Good, that takes care of that. To complete your enrollment, come meet your professors. Welcome! I am the professor of the ice school, where we teach thaumaturges to endure like permafrost, withstanding all attacks. While in the storm school, we instruct young diviners to strike hard, fast as lightning! Defeat the enemy before they know what hit them! We pyromancers of the fire school prefer to carefully fan the flames. Utilizing damage over time spells, we slow burn our enemies to cinders. Commanding the elements is indeed impressive, but Thurgis of the life school seek harmony with nature, which gives us the power to heal others. Sorcerers also seek harmony, symmetry in all things. Balance is unique magic from Crocotopia, which supports and enhances the other schools. Fireballs and flowers. Freshman magic that. All wizards summon monsters to fight for us, but only the best conjurers dare study the ways of myth. And I'm Malone, not, um... Exactly, a professor. <laughs> we haven't had a real deaf professor since the last one turned evil and destroyed the school, so... Um... But I can get you started at being a necromancer. Our death spells drain health from enemies, damaging them and healing ourselves at the same time. <laughs> You've met your professor. Great! You can train spells in your school for free, but to learn other school spells, you must spend training points. Here, I'll give you one now. Use it to start training a secondary school. And if you change your mind later, see me to buy back training points. Anyway, now that you're enrolled, you get your own dorm room to store items and decorate however you want. This is the boys' dorm here. 
and this is the girl's dorm. You can also use the go home button to reach your dorm room from anywhere. Once you get settled in, report to the headmaster. You're officially enrolled now? <laughs> then let me formally welcome you with this new healing spell. Let me also introduce you to our resident advisor, Abby K. Doodle. She can tell you all about our many electives uh, when you have time. But on to more serious matters. It seems the troubles in Unicorn Way were but the tip of an evil iceberg. While you were gone, chaos erupted all over the city. Undead run amok in the streets, and our former allies have turned against us. Malastare must be behind this. Your victory on Unicorn Way makes you the perfect person to deal with this crisis. I foresaw you might save Wizard City. Now's your chance. Go to Old Town and talk to Sergeant Muldoon immediately. We must set things right and discover Malastare's goal in all this. Good luck. One last word before you embark on your quest. I've tried to answer most of the questions you'd have, but there is much more to tell you. If you haven't looked into your spell book yet, click on the book in the bottom right of your screen. Click on the question mark tab. Many of the questions you might have are answered in the help pages. Oh, good luck, young wizard. Beware. Beyond these gates, the city's gone mad. Wait, you're the hero of Unicorn Way. The headmaster sent you to help. Thank goodness. We've got undead all over the place. Every cursed spirit and vile ghost we sealed away has broken free and attacked the city. Nowhere is safe. You say this was orchestrated by the former death professor? I thought he was dead. Well, all the other dead are back, so yeah, that makes sense. The whole city's a mess. The guard is completely overwhelmed. I hate to ask, but could you see if Private Quinn on Firecat Alley needs help? Look there, wizard. Do you see that device? It's a teleporter. If you use it, it will transport you to other teleporters on the street. You can get where you're going quickly. Halt! Oh, you're that Unicorn Way hero wizard, aren't you? What? Sergeant Muldoon sent you? Woo! I need all the help I can get. This street is ablaze, wizard, and not in the way it's always ablaze. It's been completely consumed by anger and hostility and violence. The Fire Elves have gone insane. A gaggle of them even broke down the gate to the dark cave. Now the undead have spilled out into the street. I can't hold all these roving mobs of mayhem at bay alone. Please, wizard, can you drive the haunted minions back? Truce. We'll keep to this corner of the street, but we're not going back in the dark cave. It's spooky in there. The undead have promised not to venture any farther? It's not ideal, but after everything else that's happened here, I call that a win. It all started when the Fire Elves were rehearsing the song Recollection from Fire Cats, the musical. Everything was going fine, pitchy soprano solo aside, when one of the Fire Elves suddenly shot a tiny arrow at me. Then another elf joined in. Then another. The animosity spread like wildfire. Now even the lawn decorations have risen up and gone all stabby. A wizard named Lizzo Firespitter was coaching the elves on singing before the trouble started. I saw them attack her. I wanted to help, but... Uh, uh, I simply had to secure this position. Now I'm the only thing standing between all this chaos and Old Town. 
Please, will you check on Lizzo? This is no place for a newbie like you. Wait, you're the new kid who cleaned up Unicorn Way, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here now. Some fire elves attacked me and stole my spell book. The truth hurts, but I'm literally powerless without it. Could you get my spell book back? You will? Thanks. Just try to be gentle, okay? The fire elves aren't evil. Someone, something, has corrupted them. Burnt out ends of smoky days! The stale cold smell of morning! Fire for fiddle! <laughs> My spell book! Thank you! You really are as talented as they say. However, we're gonna need more than talent to help the fire elves. I have no idea what's causing my little friends to go cuckoo bananas like this, or how to help them. But I might know of someone who does. There's a rumor of a witch who was fired from Ravenwood that lives in hiding here on Firecat Alley. They say she turned a kid into a humongo frog. I think we can convince her to use her advanced magical prowess to help the Fire Elves. I might be too optimistic, but that's a human in me. <laughs> the wizard in me is worried she's the one who caused all this. Either way, we need to find her. Perhaps one of the other denizens knows how. I saw Shellis Gruffhart cowering in a corner at the top of the hill instead of helping me while I was running for my life earlier. Oh well, go ask Shellis if he knows where the witch lives. Leave me alone! Oh, you're a wizard? Wait! You're not two fire elves in a wizard costume, are you? No? You promise? Cause I know ice magic. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Which is good, because I don't know a lick of ice magic. So, are you here to save me, magical child? Not quite. Fair enough. What do you want then? Do I know where the old witch is? Hmm. I'm not sure. What I am sure of is that the bedeviled fire elves stole my strong box. My entire month's earnings are in that box, wizard. You get my strong box back. Wink, wink. And maybe I'll remember the answer to your question. As he loves to tell, fire for fiddle, the fiend of the fell. Fire for fiddle, fire for fiddle. <laughs> My strong box. Thank you. Now about your question. I can't say for certain she's a witch, but there's a peculiar hermit who lives down the way. She keeps her windows drawn and there's often strange smoke billowing from her chimney. That's the best I can give you. Hope it helps. What? How dare you interrupt an old woman from her stories? Did Ambrose send you to banish me? Well, I'm not going without a fight. What's that? Corrupted fire elves? Murderous magma men? The undead have spilled from Dark Cave? They need the witch's help? First off, I'm 100% not that witch. Or any witch for that matter. I'm an alchemist. Secondly, this sounds like a city guard job. The guard is pinned down. Ugh, typical. All right, then, I'll help. But I need to know exactly what we're dealing with here. 
Take this special vial and collect a sample of magma from those magma men you mentioned for me to analyze. We'll go from there. Oh, that was quick. Ew! You smell like sulfur. Now, hand me the magma and I'll run a quick analysis on it. And done. Ah, looks like the root cause was a banshee's whale curse. Oh, and I recognize these melodic signatures. Bastilla Gravewind. Bastilla was the prima donna of the Fire Globe Theater decades ago. She had a bitter relationship with the Fire Elves, especially fellow actors. During a performance of Magic Fire Music, her elf co-star accidentally summoned actual fire magic, and that was the end of poor Bastilla. I'd heard that she had a thriving underworld theater career, but apparently she's decided to return with a vengeance. A Vanshee's Whale Curse works like an auditory virus. Rehearsals for that dreadful musical served as the perfect way to infect the masses. Thankfully, this particular whale seems to have no effect on humans, but we need to help the Fire Elves before their little brains melt. To reverse the curse, I'll need a Herkima stone to record Bastilla's voice onto. Get one from the rotting fodder in Dark Cave. Ooh. Ah. Take our Herkima stone. We'll dig up another to record our sickened beats upon. Ah, good. This Herkima stone should work nicely to record Bastilla's wail. I'll override whatever noise the rotting father had imbued it with. You'll just need to get Bastilla mad enough to let out a good shriek. Herkima stones naturally capture the sound waves of the undead. I did a little reconnaissance while you were gone. Big surprise, Bastilla is in her old house, the Diva's Tower, down the street. Good luck. a review of the performance I gave for the Fire Elves. What? Are you not a fan? Well, Lalastar is. None of you wretched living creatures' opinions will matter once the Dark Master's plan is fulfilled. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Did you capture Bastilla's wail? Great! What's that? She warned there's still more to Malastare's sinister plan? Wait, Malastare's behind this? Malastare? Drake? The Death Professor? I'd heard he blew himself up with the Death School after his sweet wife, Sylvia, passed. Truth be told, I'm not surprised. There was always a certain darkness about him. Sylvia was too good for that entire Drake family, if you ask me. 
Nonetheless, we still need to transmute Bastilla's Whale into a cure for the Fire Elves. We'll just need a few things before we can get started. Unfortunately, the alchemical transmutation will require some equipment that I'm no longer privy to. One student turns himself into a humongo frog, and everyone wants the alchemy professor run out of town. Bartleby forbid Ambrose have my back. Anyhow, I can make do with crafting equipment. Here's a list of items to borrow from Gloria Crendel in Old Town. Just, uh, don't mention my name. Hello, young wizard. How can I help you craft today? You'd like to borrow some crafting items. Oh, I suppose that's all right. Let's see your list. Hmm. One large beaker, one crucible, five aludels, and a small athanor. Well, this is your lucky day. I just received a crate of those items. Of course, there are a few other items in the crate as well. Tell Greta she's welcome to them too. Call it an overdue parting gift. What? I can spot Greta's alchemy setup a mile away. Don't worry. Everybody knows she's been hiding on Firecat Alley. Oh, do say hello for me. <laughs> go you got everything on the list and gloria says hello oh let's just get this done go set up the alchemy table over there Ooh, that equipment is nice enough for an amateur like you to perform the transmutation go on just place the herkimer stone on the crucible there we are now bring me the potion and let me check your work. Wow! A plus work here, young one. Good work. Now for the next part of the plan. The curative intonation potion will work similarly to the initial curse, so you'll need to administer it to an influential fire elf. Alakane Swift Arrow is the most famous fire elf actor alive. Once he's cured, just explain to him that it's up to him to pass the cure on to his people. You'll find Alakane in the Fire Globe Theater. I've imbued your wand with the curative potion. Now go give Alakane a good thwacking! Fire for Frittle! The greatest magicians have something to learn! Fire for Frittle! Wizard City must burn! Fire for Frittle! <laughs> Lo, the dark resonance hath been driven from my brain. By the hand of this gentle wizard, I am again stark raving, sane. How can I ever repay you? You say only I can deliver my people from the grip of this dreadful Banshee's curse? But how? I am an actor. We are the opposite of people. The cure and my voice hath entwined? Then accept the role of hero I must, and I shall deliver a performance for the ages to the streets! Well, did you fix this mess? Can I go back to my stories now? Finally! This whole ordeal has made me realize that I don't miss working with students as much as I'd previously thought. No offense. Run along then, dear. And if you would be so kind as to omit my name from your official reporting to the city guard, I'd appreciate it. Ta-ta! Great balls of fire! You're alive! When I didn't hear back from you, I just assumed... Well, I'm glad you weren't fricasseed. Did you find Lizzo? She's safe now? Whew. 
And a cure for the Fire Elves' madness is being administered as we speak? You're amazing! You should tell Sergeant Muldoon! And feel free to mention how I'm still bravely defending this position. If it comes up, thanks, wizard. I couldn't have done it without you. Hello again, young wizard. Do the smell of brimstone and burnt hair spell word from Firecat Alley? You helped quell an undead insurrection and cured a fire elf curse? Impressive! We're not out of the woods yet, but we're making headway. There's a part of the city we contracted out to the Cyclops Legion, appropriately called Cyclops Lane. But their leader, General Achilles, proclaimed an edict outlawing all things with more eyes than he, and forced all residents out of their homes. It's strange. Achilles always seemed an honorable fella, without insecurities about his ocular limitations. No idea what could have changed his mind. Professor Cyrus Drake took this personally, as he and Achilles go back a ways, and sent his student to investigate. Let's see, I wrote his name down. Ah, yes. Nolan... wait. Stormgate? That can't be right. Anyway, find a kid on Cyclops Lane and, well, help them. Oh, good. Professor Drake sent me another assistant. Hurry, this way. We can talk safely over here. There. Much better. Hopefully you're more useful than my other assistants. Lazy layabouts just run off. My fellow students and I came to confirm the successful thwarting of the Cyclops Rebellion. But there's a problem. The th which should be my fellow students and I came to confirm the successful thwarting of the Cyclops Rebellion. But there's a problem. The thwarting was unsuccessful. Which should be impossible. Professor Drake handled this problem as any conjurer would. He summoned trolls and minotaurs to deal with it for him. But these lumbering trolls and minotaur warhorns don't seem to be working. They're just wandering around in circles. We could report that to Professor Drake, but I see a spark of ambition in you. Let's knock the sense back into these beasts ourselves, yes? That will certainly earn us some extra credit. You go battle trolls and I'll handle the warhorns. You fight good. You're not as easy to capture as other students were. Now General Achilles let trolls go hungry. What? The trolls summoned to defeat the Cyclopses have joined up with them and captured my student assistants? What did you do? Never mind, never mind. This is no time for recriminations. That will come later. Now we must figure out how this happened. Myth minions cannot just turn on their masters. It's against their code of honor or laws of physics or whatever. There's something strange afoot. I think our best course of action is to tell a grown-up. Report the situation to Professor Drake while I remain and bravely hold the line. Make sure to mention that I'm still here, bravely holding the line while the other students are busy talking and getting captured. You can get to Ravenwood and back quickly by pressing the mark button to set your location. Give it a try. Use the return to commons button to get back to the commons and then head to Ravenwood. Yes, yes, trouble on Cyclops Lane, something, something students. Oh, you're one of those fast talkers, aren't you? Lovely. Let me save you the trouble of breathlessly barking and dancing about like a dog reporting a mishap in a well. I already know everything. And I need you, yes you, to help me save Cyclops Lane. Are you up to it? Splendid. Then quickly, go to Victor Darkwood in the shopping district. He will give you an item of great importance. Bring it back to me.
Welcome to Darkwood's Apparel Barrel. We're shopping for apparels more fun than Monkistons in a barrel. Professor Drake sent you, eh? Which one? The mean one or the evil one? Cyrus? Aye. He's the mean one. The old Death Professor Malastair, Roy, oh, that's his brother. Always were a grumpy pair. Can't say I mind there being one less around these days. Anyway, here's the old Grump's package. All his laundry clean, pressed, and folded correctly. No matter what he says. Well, that certainly took you long enough. No doubt Victor folded my robes improperly as well. Uh, why do you continue raving about Cyclops Lane? The situation is well in hand. I sent an army of trolls to ensure as much. The trolls are revolting, you say? Yes, that is a problem, and it must be dealt with harshly. Take this note to Headmaster Ambrose at once. I will not expel you. I realize Professor Drake takes particular umbrage at the trolls are revolting joke, but this is simply too far. Hmm. You mean to say the trolls he sent to Cyclops Lane are revolting in the combative sense? Oh dear, he must remedy this at once. Don't worry, young wizard. Professor Drake may seem callous, but he is not his brother. Hmm. Impress upon him the severity of the issue, and he will help. You're still here? The trolls are rebelling, hmm? Captured some students, you say? Nolan behaving bravely? I don't believe you. Although, thinking about it, Wizard City is old and holds many ghosts with strange powers not commonly practiced today. It's not... Impossible, such a spirit may have a way to enthrall my minions. Though General Achilles would have neither means nor motive to summon one. What's that? Yes, Malastare would. I heard you met him. Well, he and Achilles are old comrades. Who knows what dark powers he gave the Cyclops. All I can do is guide you. Whatever my brother summoned to disrupt my magic will be with Achilles. Find it, destroy it, and save the students. Uh, also, make sure young Master Stormgate doesn't get swallowed by his own humongo frog again. <laughs> if you marked your location, click the recall button to return to your mark. Professor Drake said to tell me not to get eaten. I knew deep down he really cared, and he's trusted me to save Cyclops Lane. So then, if the students were kidnapped by trolls, and the trolls work for the Cyclopsi, then a Cyclops should know where the students are. Therefore, my first order of business is to have you go fight Cyclopsicles until one tells you where the students are. The students are in the dark cave. We had the trolls deliver them. Because there's nightmares in there. No sane Cyclops can endure. You have to get us out of here. Those zombie creatures have the talisman to dispel these bubbles. Get it from them, please. Fine. Take the talisman. Free the miscreants. But you will all be chow for the Great One, whose gaze enthralls and whose teeth destroy. Oh, thank you! I thought for sure the spirits here were going to possess us and make us dance to catchy, upbeat music! It's my worst fear. I don't know what happened. The trolls just grabbed us and sealed us in bubbles to become vessels for the Great One. Whatever that means. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd very much like to flee in terror. Dude, you rock! Did you see all these gnarly ghosts? Oh, yeah. Well, Cyrus said they were sealed in this cave by his bro back in the day. 
Something with power over the dead broke him out, though. Oh, I bet it was Malorn. Dude's always been jealous of my raw cool. Oh, you think Malister did it? Didn't they blow up with a death school or something? Yeah, whatever. Going out to get some rays. At last. Let me guess, no one sent you to do his work for him? <sighs> that is such a myth wizard thing to do. Or maybe it's just him. I'll get everyone to safety. Find us back by Nolan and we can discuss next steps. Everyone safe? Good. Now we need to finish the job the trolls and Warhorn started. We need to defeat General Achilles. I don't know what dark influence Achilles found in this cave or how it lets him disrupt control of Professor Drake's minions, but it doesn't matter. I feel like it matters a little bit. We'll never get to Achilles' tower with those warhorns on his side. No, we definitely won't. Our spell books are gone and they are not entry-level monsters. <laughs> but our new friend here can do it. Oh, that's an excellent idea I just had. Wizard. Go fight Warhorns until they surrender. I'll stay here and protect the others. Um, thanks. <sighs> you won't get past Colonel Romulus anyway. You just wasted your time. I saw you defeat the Warhorns, wizard. But can you defeat Achilles himself? I hope so. He just hasn't been the same since that undead monster came in. I'll be honest with you. It scares me, wizard. Someone needs to save General Achilles from himself. Can you do it? Then go inside. And good luck. One of you comes to face me at last. Know this. I see Cyclops Lane, but it was not my choice. It was mine. No, down here, near the ground. Yes, me. Fear me. For I am a prince of Darkmoor. Curse it to be a bunny. Beaten by a vampire, then dropped between physical and spiritual planes. I am a ghostly vampire bunny, and I once tried to control this city with my hypnotic gaze. Alas, I was sealed in the caves with the other undead. But Malister destroyed our prison, sent us to cause chaos. And then his brother provided an easily swayed army of trolls and cultists. <laughs> Sadly, yours is too keen an intellect to fall for my diabolical cuteness. So instead, sit down, General! <laughs> So you brought Achilles to heal. Doesn't matter. As long as my influence remains over Cyclops Lane, I will never fade. He's right, you know. His thralls keep him tethered to the physical world. But if he lost them, he'd fade back to the Nexus twixt life and death. I'm telling you this because I never liked that bunny. I took Cyclops Lane as a distraction from Malister's plan. Whatever that is. We Cyclops are an honorable people, and I was honor-bound to Malastare for saving my life from a rogue optometrist. Now, I'm honor-bound to you. The Great would seize the Watching Eyes, our security system, turning them into Hypno-Eyes to lull all the minions on the street, all at once. Even now, these crystal balls maintain his bewitching gaze. Destroy them. And his influence over this street will dissipate. This isn't the end of me, wizard. I'll be back. Oh, 
yours will be a rivalry for the ages. You'll see. One day, the Great One will return! <laughs> he probably won't return, and his throne should slowly return to normal. I vow I will honor my word and restore order to this stream. The trolls and warhorns seem more docile now. I take it that means we were successful in defeating General Achilles. More like this wizard was successful, bro. Doesn't look like you moved an inch since you got us captured. Now, now, let's not point fingers. We succeed and fail as a team. And I will report our success to Professor Drake as such a team effort. Whatever you say, Nolan. Wizard, you should head back to Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town and tell him Psychops Lane is under control. General Achilles is back in town? Good. Then maybe he can do the job he promised to do and maintain order on Cyclops Lane. Though it may take a while with all the creatures roaming around there now. Good work all the same, Wizard. Triton Avenue's been overrun by the undead. I don't have any guards left to try and deal with it either. You're not the first student to offer help. Two wizards named Griffinbane went in a little while ago, and there was another named Grimwater. But none of them have come out, and I've got no word. Can you help me try to find them? Good luck, and above all, be careful. You there! Help! I'm lucky you came along. Something has broken the flow of storm magic through the street. Those towers should have arcs of lightning between them. This is bad. My sister Susie and I came to see if we could help get things back under control, but we got separated. The haunted minions drove me back. Can you create a diversion so I can try to break through? Attack the minions, and I'll meet you by the river. Thanks for the help, wizard. I wouldn't have gotten here without you. I'm worried something terrible has happened. On my way here, I saw one of the lightning eels with Susie's wand in its jaws. Maybe she just dropped it, but maybe not. What can we do? I couldn't help but over here. You're very loud. If you can bring me that wand, I may be able to assist. Really? How? Duncan Grimwater, necromancer. I was drawn here by a massive surge of death magic. It must be the reason the undead have overrun the street. I wish Malastair were here. He could stop all this madness instantly. If only he were still alive. Malastair is alive? Impossible. I don't know what you saw, but you must be mistaken. Someone is trying to deceive you and Professor Ambrose. Malastare was a great man, the greatest necromancer of this age. Ambrose is responsible for what happened to him. If he hadn't... Can we talk about this later? My sister's lost out there. You're right. Wizard, bring me that wand, and I think I can get to the bottom of this. Excellent. Susie is still alive. I can sense it from her wand. I think I can find her, but there's one more thing I need. I know a ritual that could grant me a vision of wherever Susie is. It's very advanced. I'm not surprised you don't know. The connection between Susie and her wand is one anchor for the ritual, but I need another, and I think I know what will work. When I was trying to reach the source of the death magic, I ran afoul of the rotting fodder across the river. They're using storm magic. That doesn't make any sense. Why are they using storm magic instead of death? They were wearing strange amulets that were crackling with storm energy. Bring me those amulets and I can cast my spell. Now, let's see what I can see. 
If I'm right, and I usually am, whoever's enchanting these storm amulets also kidnapped Susie. They probably have Susie imprisoned close by. I can use the link between the wand and Susie to find her, and the link between the storm amulets and their maker to produce a vision. Here goes. Nothing? Whoever this is, they have some powerful magic. I think I could break through the interference with a charged Lumina crystal. They make Lumina crystals at the mill across the river. Go talk to Blab Raven Eye and get us a crystal. A Lumina crystal? You're out of luck. The undead stole all my crystals. I've got lots of raw crystal. I could grind you another one, but the mill's broken. Undead stole the wheel cogs and scattered them all over. But even if I could grind you a crystal, I couldn't charge it. My lightning rod won't work. The Scarlet Screamer stole the primary coil. You could help get me up and running again. Gather up the cogs and get my coil back from the Scarlet Screamers, and I'll get you a crystal. Bother this soggy place and be bother you. If this coil's so precious to you, take it. Splendid. Now, put those cogs to good use and get the old wheel turning. I'll fix the lightning rod. All right, we're ready. Here, just pull this lever, and we'll charge that Lumina crystal right up. Ha! Well done, wizard. Thanks to you, I'm back in business. Here you are. One brand new, fully charged Lumina Crystal. She's a beauty. I hope she serves you well. A Lumina Crystal! This should be just what we need. The Lumina Crystal will boost the power of my ritual. It'll work this time, I'm sure of it. It's working! Susie, I can see her! But what was that horrifying thing with her? That's the Harvest Lord. We studied him in class. He's a powerful spirit from the underworld who harvests the souls of the innocent. It looked like she's in Galvano's tower. That must be where the Harvest Lord is enchanting the storm amulets. Wizard, please free my sister. Ah, another soul to harvest. I knew my little prisoner would draw more to me, like flies to honey. <laughs> Wait, my dark master warned me about you. Ha! Imagine the reward he will give me when I present him your very soul. <laughs> Help! Grand design is nearly complete. Triton Avenue is stoned. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Meet me outside, wizard. I need your help. I overheard the Harvest Lord's plans. He was raising an army of rotting fodder armed with storm magic to attack Wizard City. But there's more. The Tempest Nexus up on the ridge channels storm energy into Triton Avenue. The Harvest Lord diverted the flow of energy to enchant the amulets. But after he finished the amulets, he directed the flow back on itself. The Nexus will explode and take Triton Avenue with it. Use the teleporter by the mill to reach the Tempest Nexus. I'll meet you up there. It's worse than I thought. Nexus could explode at any moment. The controls, uh, they aren't working. I can't set it right. Professor Bellstrom knows more about storm magic than anyone. Go ask him for help. I'll try to keep the Nexus stable. Hurry. 
You can get to Ravenwood and back quickly by pressing the mark button to set your location. Give it a try. Use the return to commons button to get back to the commons and then head to Ravenwood. What? The Tempest Nexus is going to explode? Oh dear me, we can't have that! Here, take this master key, ring it against the metal of the Nexus three times, and the feedback loop should end! Good luck, and move quickly! If you marked your location, click the recall button to return to your mark. Wizard, Triton Avenue is saved! Um, you didn't happen to run into my little brother Archer anywhere, did you? He's alright? Thank goodness! Take me to him, it'll be good to see him again! You rescued Susie! All's well. The Harvest Lord has been driven back into the shadows, and the storm energy is flowing again. There's still a lot of undead roaming around, but without the Harvest Lord to direct them, we can handle them. I'll help. So, the Harvest Lord said he had a dark master. Track that master down, wizard, so Malastare's memory can be redeemed. Maybe you should leave that for later. For now, tell Sergeant Muldoon that things are calming down. Triton Avenue's not going to explode? <laughs> well, I should hope not. Sounds like things are getting sorted out. What a relief. Whew. Thanks, wizard. Good job on cleaning up those streets. You know, if this whole student of magic thing doesn't work out, you have a bright future as a guard. For now, though, report back to the headmaster and tell him that everything is under control. Malastare broke open the sealed caves and unleashed the undead. Why? Deranged as he's become, I can't believe chaos is his only ambition. He was always dedicated to his wife, Sylvia. When illness claimed her, his devotion led him to delve into terrible rituals to restore her to life. I forbade him. He ignored me and destroyed the death school in his folly. Now... He seeks the Order of the Fang, a lost sect with their own secrets. We must learn why. There is a being who sees through time with the eyes of history and the future, gifted him by the Grandmother of Ravens. But his eye of history was stolen some time past, and without it, his vision is limited and his memory addled. Alas, we haven't any other choice. So come with me, wizard, to Ravenwood. Wizard, once upon a time, there was the first world, inhabited by primal beings and three terrible titans. When the feuding titans shattered their world, the primal tree and Grandmother Raven sang the song of creation and wove its fragments together into the spiral. This is one of those primal beings, Bartleby, the grandfather of trees. He guided me to bring you here, and it's his insight we seek now. My sight is not what it once was. My gaze has turned foul and my memory is fading. You must find the one from the world without magic. This is that one, Bartleby. Oh dear. You see, wizard, he can't stay with us. His mind is lost in time, in the past and the future. Beware the spiders. Fire rings. The alligator eats the stars. Malastare, if you take my eye, my gaze will turn foul and your spirit rotten. Malastare stole the eye of history? Of course! 
And this repeated bit about a gaze turning foul, it was once a spectre named Foulgaze. He often haunted Sapphira's tower in Old Town. Perhaps his patterns haven't changed. You must investigate at once. On the trail of the Order of the Fang, part two. Still looking for the Order of the Fang. How I did not find the Order of the Fang. Useless! Who are you? Oh, you're the one that dealt with the Harvest Lord, the Banshee and the Bunny. I was hoping to meet you. I enjoy a challenge. Take a good look, wizard, because this foul gaze will be your last. Bah! While you were busy playing with elves and bunnies, I found every book on the Order of the Fang and sent them to my master. The useful ones, anyway. What? No, not Malastare. I don't serve Malastare. I serve Lord Nightshade, Keeper of the Darkness. He serves Malastare. And he rules even now from the place of our banishment, the hub of our new undead kingdom, the Haunted Cave. You know the one I tried? It's ours. <laughs> Jeepers, don't sneak up on people like that. Don't you know this cave is haunted? Isn't this place just wowser? I heard all the seals were broken, and I had to finally see what kind of ghosts are in here. I read books on these caves. All the books in the library, actually. But nothing makes history come alive more than really seeing the ghosts. Did you come here out of intellectual curiosity, too? Oh, Lord Nightshade. I've heard of him. Mean guy. He lives in that big tower down the way. Well, I say lives. He doesn't live. He's dead. He unlives in the tower. If you go fight him and survive, can you bring me a souvenir? Ooh, or ask him about the realms of the dead. Like the underworld, or Nightside, or Tartarus. I'm super curious. I bet they're nice! You truly think to face me, wizard? Do you have any concept of what I am? No mere ghost lost in the ether. I am darkness! King of the dead! Lord of the night side! Master of the things in the dark which float and scream! And now you have the honor of becoming one of my subjects! The books on the Order of the Fang? I have not these things. I collected them as gifts. Gifts to the one who freed us, to the necromancer concealed safely in my domain, in the night side, where no mortal thing can see him. Wowzer! Whoa, you survived! Or did you? You two seem solid and opaque, but it might just be the lighting. Night side! The underplane that sits between the realms of life and death, which can't be seen by mortal eyes. Or do you mean a different night side? No, that's the one you mean. Yeah, I've read about it. All about it. It's a real physical place somewhere. You just can't see it. Ghosts can, so you'd need ghost eyes. Oh, or the fiery gaze of something possessed by spectral energy, like those field guards. Defeat field guards and get their pumpkin heads. Then I can do a thing and reveal Nightside. Wow, 
Bowser, you did a great job. These pumpkin heads are perfect. Unfortunately, I can't do the thing. I thought I could. I read all about it while you were gone, but I can't. I can do stuff, but what you need is a thing. Headmaster Ambrose knows about things. All things. You should ask him for help. Wizard, I'm afraid Bartleby's mind remains jumbled. I don't think he can help us. Have you had any luck with foul gaze? What's that you say? You need me to do a thing. Oh my, young people these days are terribly imprecise. Ah, you believe Malister is hiding in Nightside? That explains much. It would conceal him from all but Bartleby. Thus, the theft of his eye. But I see your plan. I can enchant these ghostly pumpkins to transfer their vision into yours, allowing you to see that which dead things see. At least for a short time. It'll take but a moment. And... Uh, there. <laughs> it is done. Go now, follow your instincts. Find the hidden path to Nightside. A wizard? It has been so long. Have you come seeking the school of death magic? You have found it, and much more. The death school and I once sat above in the raven wood under the shade of the grandfather tree. But in his rage and sorrow, Malastare stole us. He feigned an explosion and shifted the very land upon which the school sits here to the night side. From this haven he conducts his research into what I do not know. All I could do was sit and wait for Bartleby to see us and send help. His eye of history was stolen? No! Malastare must have done this. He is in the school now. You must fix what he has broken. Master, what about this book? The Order of the Fang was born of... Um... Some word that starts with K. Give me that. Crocotopia, you dunce. And I knew that already. I've been scouring the place for ages. I came back here to find where in Croc... Oh, I see. Yes, this book does indeed have the answer I seek. So you're too late, wizard. Yes, I remember you. You fought my minions, thwarted all my diversions, but it doesn't matter. I've already won. That was very dramatic. It's just a book. Hello there. I'm Dwargan, caretaker of the Death School. What's your name? Did you know the Death School moved to Nightside? That's an odd name. Oh, I get it. I thought it was darker than usual outside. Haven't gotten out much, and my master started bringing me books to study. Oh, and an orb that he said could show us all of history. I have history. No, don't have any. I have new dyes, though, if you want some. Still crunchy, too. Anyway, my master couldn't get the orb to work. So he traded it for more books! We've read everything to find the Order of the Fang. Turns out they're on Crocotopia, in a great... Something that begins with S. You should probably tell the headmaster the death school moved. Don't want the students to miss class. Some good news, wizard. 
The guards are reporting progress in pushing out the remaining undead, thanks to you. Now tell me, did you find Nightside? What? Oh my, this is indeed distressing news. But at least we know what happened to the Death School and poor Dwargan. I'll manage shoring up our passage to Nightside so we can resume proper death classes. But we must still contend with Malister. We know he seeks the Order of the Fang, a mysterious sect of wizards from Crocotopia, but we don't know why. With Bartleby's eye missing, we must rely on old-fashioned methods to find out. I need you to follow Malastare's trail to Crocotopia. Take these two spiral keys. They will grant access to the world door inside Bartleby. Even in his current state, he can guide you from there. You wish to explore new worlds? Heed my words. All the worlds of the spiral are connected through world doors, which are unlocked by spiral keys. The keys the Headmaster gave you will allow you to travel to the desert world of Crocotopia and back here to Wizard City. Throughout your adventures, you will discover new keys, and new worlds, and wondrous things, and terrible dangers. I chose you for a reason, and while my mind is fogged and my memories vague, I trust my past judgment. You are destined for great things. Yours will be an incredible journey, young wizard. Now it is time for you to take the first step. Another wizard? A servant of the one called Malastare, are you? No? Oh, then perhaps you can help us. Malastare has been here many times. And each time he comes, he raises more of the oppressive tots from their slumber, seeking their knowledge. They must be stopped, or they will enslave the Mander people again. If you would help us, talk to the Sergeant Major in the Oasis. What ho! Greetings, youngster. You must be one of those wizards from Wizard City. Sergeant Major Sylvester Quimby Talbot III at your service. Order of the Fang? I think I heard Professor Winthrop mention that name. He and his crew are still excavating when they should be evacuating. You'll find Professor Winthrop inside the pyramid. Perhaps he has some information that can help you. And please, try to keep him safe. Come in, come in, watch your step. Things are a mess down here. You say you are looking for the Order of the Fang? As a matter of fact, I was just researching them when the Crocs came to life and attacked. When the Crocs attacked, my diggers and I had just found an ancient obelisk describing the Order of the Fang. We had to evacuate everyone. If only I could see rubbings of the inscription on the obelisk, I could learn more about the Order. Do you think you could make rubbings for me? You can find the ancient obelisk at the dig site in the Royal Hall. You make the rubbings. These rubbings are perfect! Let me decipher the text. Professor Winthrop studies the rubbings and grows frightened. My word! The Order of the Fang was a secret group of croc wizards who wrote a book of rituals called the Croconomicon, the most powerful source of knowledge about life and death magic. The Croconomicon cannot fall to Malastare. Perhaps this order has something to do with the crocs attacking us now. Did Malastare put them up to it? He has done similar work in Wizard City. We need to find out more. While I was running for my life from the croc attack, 
I saw Beatty Narini take an ancient tablet. He's the leader of the crocs in this area. Beatty Narini must have the answers we're looking for. To reach him, we'd need a key to his chamber. Our fighting men are trying to protect our archaeologist. Could you defeat Narini crocs until you find a croc carrying the chamber key and take it from them? You found the chamber key. Well done. Our men here have their hands full fighting the crocs. The archaeologists are no help, I'm afraid. Can you defeat Beatty Narini in his chamber? Claim the missing ancient tablet from him, and perhaps I can find out how this madness started. You are not worthy of standing before me, wizard. Fall to the floor. Maybe then I shall show mercy on you. Ah, the ancient tablet. Now I can get the rest of the story on the Order of the Fang. Professor Winthrop studies the ancient tablet. The Order of the Fang oppose the evil Tuts. They planned to use the Croconomicon to put the Tuts to sleep, and we had to come round and wake them up. If only we had that book, we could set things right again. But where is it? I think the Order of the Fang still exists, hiding somewhere in Crocotopia. I want to find them. They must know where the Croconomicon is kept. We've discovered a map room that might help locate them. Unfortunately, it's located through the palace we can't get inside. My assistant, Malcolm Danforth, has been working on a way to enter the palace, but with all these tuts about, I'm afraid for him. Please help him. You'll find him in the excavation room in the Chamber of Fire. You're to help me find a way inside the palace? Excellent! As far as I can tell, the palace requires a keystone to unlock the door. My partner Robert Lancaster has been searching for the keystone. See if you can find him, while I see if I can't whip up some other way in. My, my, there are crocs everywhere. I tried to venture out to find the keystone and ended up running for my life. Tell Malcolm Danforth I don't have the keystone, but I did discover that a piece of it is buried in the dig site at the Royal Hall. Say, could you do us a favor being a wi We've heard that once you defeat a flame servant, you are left with a small eternal flame. When our fires go out, this place is pitch black. Some of those eternal flames would come in handy. Thanks for that. Good show, that Robert. He couldn't find the keystone, but he did give us a way to find it. It's time to roll up your sleeves and dig into the dirt like a true archaeologist. We need to find that keystone. Please go to the dig site in the Royal Hall and search for the missing piece. It's probably just below the surface of the sand, so you may have to dig around some. Wonderful! You have found the keystone! You are a true archaeologist, my friend. I haven't been twiddling my thumbs either. I learned they divided the keystone into two pieces in order to ensure the safety of the palace. Who knew? There's only one thing to do, and I'm afraid it's up to you. According to these inscriptions, the Nerini Quartermaster has the final piece of the keystone. You will have to defeat him in combat and get it for us. Can you do that? I see my men could not take you down. I guess if you want something done right. At 
last, the other piece. You're quite a tough worker. You sure you're not from Marleybone? Here, let me put the pieces together for you. There. Now that we have the keystone, we must inform Professor Winthrop. Head back to the entryway and tell him we can unlock the palace now. It's been a pleasure working with you, even with all these crocs menacing us. You and Malcolm found the keystone. Splendid! We have the key to the palace now. Go inside and help Lieutenant Standish clear the way into the throne room. Spiffing! Good to see you. With your help, we'll have these crocs cleared out in no time at all, and you can claim your book. You there. You look like a stout young wizard. I require your assistance. The archaeologists found magical artifacts that may seal the crocs in the Palace of Fire. It's risky, but it just might work. Please find my men and give them these artifacts. Report back to me with news. Thanks. Looks like the crocs are trying to break out of here. We'll hold the line with these artifacts. These artifacts had better work. These crocs are amassing an army. The Nerini nobles just keep coming. Thanks for this. I just hope I can hold out against all the Nerini warriors. At last! Once we use these artifacts, we can stop the army. Welcome back, young wizard! With the artifacts in place, the crocs won't be getting out of this pyramid if we can help it. We may have slowed the crocs down, but I can't just leave my soldiers out there. They'll be overwhelmed. My higher-ups won't like this, but please, defeat some Narini warriors and Narini flame guardians. Give my soldiers a fighting chance. Huzzah! We really gave those crocs what for. The soldiers are holding their own now. Outstanding. My men are doing all they can, but they can't fight forever. It's not enough to hold the army. We have to defeat it. One last request, young wizard. Defeat the Narini family. They have erected a spirit barrier to the throne room. Their names are Edo, Nebit, Shai, and Akori. Defeat them, and the barrier will be broken down. You poor, pitiful wizard. I am glad you showed up here. I will do you a favor. I shall put you out of your misery. Fool! Once I have exhausted your power, let us see if you still approach the great Debit Narini with such disrespect. You may have seen the fall of the other Narini, but the next thing you will see is me celebrating my victory. <sighs> Thus begins the draining of your strength and the restoration of my glory. Great work, young wizard. I may have taken a few risks, but you really put the lives of my men before your own. Now that we have the key to the throne room, we can continue the assault in there. You're a true hero in my book. 
you ever decide on a military career, you're more than welcome in my unit. Report to Professor Winthrop and tell him of our successful assault. He should be ready to proceed into the throne room now. You recovered the key? Oh my, this is a red-letter day indeed. We must hurry. Now we can get inside the map room and find where the Order of the Fang is hiding. I have to gather some notes and then I'll meet you inside the map room. See you there. So, you think you are worthy to enter the throne room of fire? Beware, it is a dungeon. Only four at a time can be in a dungeon, so bring your best warriors. And when everyone leaves, the level will reset in a short amount of time. You can replay this dungeon, allowing you to gain additional unique loot, but only if you survive. There you are. I've got my notes now. Let's get to work tracking down the Order of the Fang, shall we? We'll most likely need the use of a serpent's staff, so I'll trust you to procure one for us. According to my notes, the Order of the Fang used magic to hide their location. Only by using a powerful artifact in this map room can we undo their spell. There! That slot must be where the serpent staff would go. And I remember Prince Manu Nerini swung it at my head when the Tuts attacked. I'd rather not have a repeat of that. Could you go down the hall and battle Prince Manu Nerini for the Serpent Staff? We must set things right. None shall pass through the door unless all the braziers burn with red flames. there. You shall pay for disturbing me, young wizard. Good work! Now to use the staff. We'll soon figure out the Order's secret location. It's no use. The staff isn't working. What could I have done wrong? Professor Winthrop stares at his notes in frustration, then looks up suddenly with a bright gleam in his eye. That's it. In ancient times, the Eye of Croc was placed here in this room, but Croc and Common recently took it in a show of power. You must go further into Croc and Common's lair, defeat him, and take back the Eye of Croc. Then we can find the Order of the Fang at last. Where the two suns shine, the way will be clear. But not if there is any moon shining. You will test your might against me, and you will fail. Why even try, weakling? Splendid! We have the Eye of Croc! Since you defeated Croc and Common and Prince Manu Narini, you deserve the honor of discovering the Order of the Fang. Go on. Take the Eye of Croc and the Serpent's Staff and place them in the slots on the platform. Then, repeat the ancient words I taught you. 
You do as the professor says and shout the ancient words al Kazam. A bright light flashes, and with a crackle, the map reveals the secret meeting place of the Order of the Fang. You've done it! The secret location of the Order of the Fang is revealed! Never would have thought to look there. It's on another island. I need to gather one or two other things here. Meet me back in the Altar of Kings. We can continue from there. Excellent! We finally know where the Order of the Fang is. Now we can find them, get the Croconomicon, and keep it from falling into evil hands. Now that we know where to find the Order of the Fang, we'll need permission to explore there. Go speak with Sergeant Major Talbot by the lake outside. Tell him we may have found a way to set things right again. What ho! The Order of the Fang may have the secret to defeating the Tuts, eh? And it's an old book? Indeed. We must ensure that book doesn't fall into the wrong hands, then. Their inner lair must be explored at once. There is no time to lose. We set up ferries to Crocus Sphinx before the crocs attacked. Good thing, too. I barely have time to think. The boat's there in front of me. Take it across to the island. I hope you find this lair where the Order of the Fang hides out. We could use some good news. This boat goes to the Cracker Sphinx. You'll need permission from Sergeant Major Talbot to get on the boat. If the sergeant has already given you permission, simply climb aboard and it will take you to the other island. Greetings. Welcome, stranger. I am Professor Alasred. If you seek the Order of the Fang, you have found it. What brings you here? You tell Professor Alhazred about your search for Malastare. I have seen no Malastare, but I know why he sought us. Long ago we wrote the Croconomicon. With the power of life and death, he could spell disaster in the wrong hands. Before I say more, you must earn the Order's trust. Please go to the Krakow Sphinx, seek out Shalik the Wise, and heed his words. Greetings, wizard. So, the Professor wants to test you. We are the ones being tested. We put the Tuts to sleep, but now our work is undone. They will try to enslave everyone. We must reunite the Order of the Fang. We have strong allies in the Manders, but they are struggling. Earn our trust by helping us. While Alhazred and I remained awake during the Great Sleep, other members of the Order of the Fang did not. If you are sincerely here to help, now is the time to seek them out. When I last saw General Kaba, our esteemed military leader was holding back the Tuts so we could cast the sleep. I only hope he is not suffered for his bravery. Go find the Mander Rami in the Hall of Champions. Rami can help you find Kaba. A 
I hope you've come to help, young wizard, because this place is swimming with tuts. You are not the only one looking for General Kaba. The tuts are looking for the Order of the Fang, and I fear we may be detected. We must slow them down before they find the General. Surely a powerful wizard like yourself can take out their minion, the Sphinx Sakwi. So, General Kaba is safe, for now. So far, you are as great and powerful a wizard as the Order of the Fang believes you to be. General Kaba will speak only to someone carrying the seal of the Fang. To our horror, that evil tuck neck vet captured it before the great sleep. We must get it before he tricks the General into revealing himself. We shall see if you can defeat neck vet in his chamber. Kiss that confidence goodbye as you see how little you are. You have the seal! I am sorry I doubted you, but I never thought I'd see someone more powerful than the Tuts! I must stay here and keep my ears open, but you have restored my faith that the Tuts can be defeated. Thank you, friend. Go, quickly. General Kaba is hiding in the treasure room up ahead. You bear the seal of the Fang. Tell me, wizard, what events occurred during my great slumber? You tell General Kaba about the Tuts' desire to rule over many worlds. If only we had succeeded in crushing the Tuts earlier. I confess, wizard, a soul scavenger sapped my strength by stealing my coin of destiny. I tried to protect the Order of the Fang without it, but to my dismay, I couldn't, and we failed. If we are to defeat the Tuts this time, I'll need my coin of destiny. Please help me recover my strength by destroying that soul scavenger nearby. I will feed on the light in your eyes. With this coin in my possession, I can feel my strength returning. We must prepare for battle. I hope I will not fail, but first, I need my sword. I gave it to Rami for safekeeping. Go to him and get it for me. Honored one, I am afraid that all I have left of the sword is this. Please take it to the great general if he needs it. What? This is just a scabbard. How can I fight the Tuts with just a scabbard? We must rebuild my weapon then. First, for the blade, I will need eye shards from the Glacial Avengers. Eye shards should do the trick. You should be able to find them in this area. Mmm, these will do nicely. Well done. All right. Now I need some spider carapace to form the hilt. Ice weaver shells should be perfect for it. Win four of them for me in the grand arena. Yes, these will do. Good work. The hilt needs gems to magnify the blade's power, for it is the blade of a general. I will need you to collect these gems in the area. Yes, yes, these will be good. They'll fit in perfectly. Now, I require something to wrap around the hilt for a good grip. The hall servants should have some leather straps. Those should do well. Yeah. 
Excellent. These leather straps will go well with it. Now to forge the blade. Aji Sakwi guards the Frozen Forge. We will need a key to unlock the entrance to his lair. Defeat his guards, the Sakwi Crushers. One of them must have a key. Most excellent. We are close now. You have proven to be a most valiant warrior. I will send some loyal troops through these passageways. Would you perform the boldest part of the plan? Defeat Aji Sakwi and use the Frozen Forge to create my new blade. You will not evade me, wizard. Prepare to meet your doom. Excellent work, wizard. You made my plan a success. With you on our side, we are certain not to fail. I must stay and rally our forces. Your help will not be forgotten, wizard. You have done much to earn the trust of the Order of the Fang. Go tell Shalak the Wise in the entrance hall that I am once again ready to lead our fight. Excellent. You found the great General Kaba, and returned him to the fold. Perhaps the sleep has no ill effect on any of the Order. We may very well defeat the Tuts for good this time. With General Kaba, the Order can plan strategy. But without our fearless warrior, Kai Amate the Great, who are we? I'm concerned that our Mander ally, Akko, has not yet found Kai Amate. Please go to the Grand Arena and help Akko. Kai Amate's ferocity in battle stirs the fight in all of us. He must be found. Are you a warrior, young wizard? Because a warrior is what we need. Kai Amate the Great is fighting in the Colosseum. But Manders aren't allowed in. I've got another idea. Disguised as a gladiator, you wouldn't raise any suspicion. If you accept, you should battle Sphinx gladiators to earn the mark of the gladiator. The mark will gain your entry. When you have it, return to me to complete your disguise. Perfect! Now with this gear I got you and the mark of the gladiator, you'll be able to march into the Colosseum unnoticed. You'll find the Colosseum up ahead. When you enter, be sure to talk to Marakara, the Arena Master. Tell him you want to fight Kayamate the Great. When you succeed, tell Kayamate that the Order of the Fang needs him to rejoin the cause. My plan should work, I hope. Good luck, young wizard, and be careful. Puny foreigner! You think you can take down Kayamate the Great? <laughs> we'll soon see how you fare against real warriors. How about proving yourself first, novice? Think you can defeat a lowly Sakwi Ripper? Alright! <laughs> it should be entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new contestant! Not bad, but don't congratulate yourself just yet. A Sakwi Ripper is actually a pushover. We'll see what happens in the next round. Okay, I think you got lucky with that Sakwi Ripper. Prepare for something with a little more... heat. Ladies and gentlemen, for your enjoyment we have a special duel. 
foreigner wizard versus the wild sunbird. Cheer for the gladiators! You can watch them in action behind the bird gate. So, you are the new kid on the block? Maybe the block isn't big enough for the both of us. We'll see who stays and who goes. Ah! Wait, did I say the sunbird is tough? It's... Okay. But you'll have to prove that was not beginner's luck. Hmm. I thought I heard a cheer or two for you last time. Maybe I can set up a match between you and Stone Chin. But you'll have to make him interested in you first. Tell you what. If you bash a couple of those ice weavers, I think we can set something up. Stone Chin likes fresh spider eyes. Collect some of those and he'll be willing to tangle with you. Not bad, not bad. You may be able to bash the ice weavers, but you need more flair, more style. Can't please a crowd without those things. Okay, Stone Chin says you're on. But I told him he can't have the spider eyes until after the fight. Let's see how you fare against a stronger and hungrier opponent. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, Puny Foreigner versus Crag Stone Chin. Who will fall first? Just watch behind the sun gate. The arena master says that after I smash you, I get to have spider eyes. Mmm, I like spider eyes. Okay, now crack smash you. Not bad, but I wonder how you'll do against a real warrior. Hmm, let me see who's left. Okay, I think you're about ready to move up to fight Bort. Problem is, Bort has an image to maintain. So before you get to take him on, you'll have to take on some sand stalkers. That's in his contract. Nothing I can do. Excellent. The crowd always loved up-and-comers such as yourself. Too bad no one has come to see the arena for some time. Look out! Bort Maladmain was born and bred to fight. Think you can best him? Then show me some spirit. I want to see a real fight. Ladies, gentlemen, and children of all ages. Let's hear it for the Dueling Wizard! This time, the wizard is after two-time croc champion, Bort Maladmain! Check out the Snake Gate! You think I will give up all the fame and glory without a fight? Ha! Huh? You don't even have the showmanship to be a star like me! Really? You are no warrior! <laughs> I have to say, you don't look like a real warrior, but you sure can deliver. The crowds would go wild for someone like you. The crowd would have loved you, taking on all our top guys. Now is no time to slow down. I'll get a tenure ready while you take on some suckweed gougers. Go get them, Wiz.
Excellent work up there, wizard. If only we had the crowds from the past, they would be filling the stadium to see you fight. I'm taking you to the top. Fight hard and I just might get an honorarium. Of course, I'll share the spoils with you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get set for some unparalleled entertainment. The dueling wizard will now fight our undefeated croc champion, the amazing Itenyu Sakwi. Behind the Moon Gate! Be gone, little wizard. You do not belong here. I only fight real warriors. I am a croc champion, not a babysitter. You did well, my little croc champion! You're ready to take on Kayamate! I've got big plans for you. I'll wager you feel like you're ready to fight the legendary Kayamate the Great. Now here's your chance. You can thank me later. I set up a private show. Go through that door on the right and enter a small room. Show Kayamate no mercy. You'd be doing that old has-been a favor. I am the undefeated one. The only Kayamate. I am humbled by your skill, wizard. Sadly, I accept defeat, even though it was inevitable. It is clear that my days of glory are over. I guess I'll just have to settle for retiring filthy rich. Maybe a comeback tour in a few years. You lean in quickly and notify Kaya Mate of Shalik's request. His eyes widen as you emphasize the dire situation. I have been here trying to recapture lost glory, and my comrades have been at risk. I see now that the great sleep was no defeat, but a stalemate. I must gather my fellow gladiators. As foreigners forced to fight for the Tat's amusement, they will revolt too. Return to Shalek and tell him I am ready to fight. This will be my greatest glory. Ah, I should have known those who slept might forget themselves. I'm glad you were able to remind Kai Amate of his calling. With General Kaba and Kai Amate back, we now have four core members of the Order of the Fang, reunited in purpose. Wizard, by helping us, you have earned my trust. Therefore, I will reveal a guarded secret. The location of the Golden Fang. Locked in the Vault of Ice for centuries, it offers great power to any croc who wields it. We cannot afford for the Tuts to discover it now. Meet me inside the Vault of Ice. What? You think you can just waltz right into the Vault of Ice and take the Golden Fang? This dungeon will be your final resting place. My heart gladdens to see you, for your help is greatly needed. This will be a difficult mission. Welcome, oh mighty wizard. If you seek the Keeper of the Fang, you must first defeat the Defender, the Guardian, and the Protector of the Fang. But wait! Next, you must show cunning as well as might, and solve their riddles. Fair is foul, and foul is fair. Try and 
take this fang if you so dare. Show your eyes and grieve with your heart. Come to the shadows and prepare to depart. Claim as your own. Tamper with me, little wizard, and I'll turn you to stone. This is my domain. You will pay for your trespasses, young wizard. You've done it. We have the Golden Fang. But, as much as I am mesmerized by its presence, I hope we never use its power. At last, during the Great Sleep, we learned the power of balance and vowed never to upset it again. Ah, the Fang! Excellent! Now we can proceed! You may wonder, young wizard, why we caused the Great Sleep. The truth is, we felt we had no choice, once we realized the Krakanamakan had been stolen. I hope you do not feel misled. I question the wisdom of ever writing such a dangerous book, but now you understand why we must fight to retrieve it. We know Krakotep, the ruling tut of the Sphinx, last controlled the Krakanamakan. I know him well. He's certain to be hiding behind guards in the Emperor's retreat. Meet me inside and we will find a way to defeat him. So, you feel you are worthy of entering the Emperor's retreat? Not on your life, you lowly worm. Just as I expected. This place is heavily guarded. Manders toil while Krokotep relaxes in his chamber. Krokotep is known for his intricate defenses. You will find two guardians at the first gate, both princes of the Sakwi family. Even with balance, I would not stand a chance at my age. Please fight bravely to defeat them and return to me safely. I had hoped to face a mighty warrior to test my skills, but you showed up instead. Hardly worth the efforts of a prince. Bested by a mere student wizard. Oh, the shame I have brought to my family name. They sent you to confront me. You're not fit to clean the floors. Yeah. 
You've done well, young wizard. The lever should work now. Open the door and I'll meet you up ahead at the lake. Excellent. You've made it. Oh, my heart. This place is filled with enslaved manders. Krokotep knows I can't stand to see them suffer, but he does not know that you're on my side. Let's free the manders from their bondage. If we can do this, surely they will fight alongside us. We've done it, but we need to ensure that they are not enslaved again. Now we must deal with the Overseer, Paniwi. Don't think me foolish for not rushing at once to get the Krakanamakan. If we do not save the Manders, we are no better than the Tuts. But I see no harm in hurrying. Defeat Overseer Paniwi and return to me at once. The door is frozen shut by magic. Perhaps the braziers hold the secret to opening it? You fail to see just how outmatched you are, wizard. Excellent job, young wizard. You've shown the Manders we mean to defeat the Tuts, and they are ready to join the fight. Krakotep cowers behind a door sealed by a combination. The Manders we freed tell me you must vanquish the Sakwi Keymaster to get it. Once you've defeated the Keymaster, the combination will appear in his room. Use that combination to open the door and take our vengeance on Krakotep. Are you the Gatekeeper? I must put you to the ultimate test. Behold! By defeating me, you have passed the test. You must be the gatekeeper! Don't provoke me, wizard. I was just thinking about letting you live. In my service, of course. You have found a golden scarab. You have fought bravely. It sickens me to know one of the Order's members gave the Krakonomicon to Queen Krakopatra. Even though it is never easy to defeat one of our own, it was the right thing to do. I fear more troubles await us, young wizard. Krakopatra wields the Krakonomicon, and Krakotep spoke of a new army. The Order has much to discuss. We may not have always acted with wisdom in the past, but you've set us on the right path at last. Come join us in the Balance School. 
Young wizard, you have my eternal gratitude. I heard what you did in the Krakow Sphinx. I feel we are no longer strangers, but comrades in arms. Shalik, General Kaba, Kai, Amate, and I all wish to honor you. Please take this golden scarab as a symbol of your entry into the Order of the Fang. No one deserves it more. We will continue to fight the Tuts here, using the wisdom of balance rather than the Golden Fang. We leave it to you, young wizard, to find and protect the Krakonomicon. You will need to investigate Krakopatra's lair, the Tomb of Storms. Go see Sergeant Major Talbot, for he may be able to help you. The Tomb of Storms, eh? Sure you want to go in there? That's quite a dangerous place. The Tut Leader is inside. Well, why didn't you say so? I'll get you in there right away, if you haven't already found a way in. You're in luck. My men are overtaxed, but one of the locals has taken on the Tomb of Storms. I hate doing this to you, but once there, you're on your own. I can't protect the locals and launch an assault. You'll have to be a one wizard army. Ready? Find Hetch Aldim nearby. He's been working with the summoning stones and will surely know how to get inside. You cannot simply march into the Tomb of Storms. You must possess three golden scarabs, and I only have one. Oh, you have two of them? Hmm, easier than I thought. Take mine by all means. That should get you in there if you've not already found the means, oh crafty one. Touch each scarab in turn to each of the obelisks and you will activate them. Then the tomb and its secrets will open to you, assuming you've not already found your way in. Greetings. Don't fear me. I would like to atone for betraying the Order of the Fang. I was blinded by Krakopatra and foolishly gave her the Krakonomicon. With it, Krakopatra could force any Krak spirit to rise in her service as her new army. We must stop her from using it if it's not already too late. To reach her, you will need a two-part cipher. The head of the Onik family has the first part deep inside the Onik tomb. Be careful. If you have not come to bask in my glory, you must be punished. Great job, young wizard. If only I had had half your courage. Now you need the second part of the cipher. It was cleverly placed in the tomb of an opposing family, so that no one would ever unite the two halves. Let's see how clever that really was. Find the head of the Jesuit family in their tomb, and bring back the second part of the cipher. You must be mad to challenge someone as great as me! You've done well, but your trial is only beginning. Your next quest will test your courage like never before. Krakopatra rules from the Temple of Storms, secured by only one key. 
To make matters worse, four princes guard it within the royal palace. The Scythers will get you into the palace, but to even reach it, you will need to make your way through the Karanan barracks. I'm sorry for the task ahead of you. Once you defeat the fourth and final prince, Aka Karanan, you will have the temple key at last. Good luck. I pity the fool who would dare to enter Karanan Palace, for it is a dungeon. You will test your might against me, and you will fail. Why even try, weakling? It would be quicker if you just admitted defeat now. Fool! If you do not bow before me, you will fall before me. I do not recognize you, therefore my face is the last one you will see. Prepare yourself for pain, wizard. Most excellent display of bravery, young wizard. I thought no one could ever make it through. You see, I was the one who created those obstacles. When I awoke, I feared these strangers digging up my home. But you, a stranger, have shown me that Krakopatra is far worse. I hope I can repay you. It's time for your final and most important task. I'm only sorry I could not do it myself. You must enter the Temple of Storms and defeat the mighty Krakopatra. Only then can you recover the Krakonomicon and keep it from falling into the hands of evil. Inside the temple, you will find the gatekeeper. Tell him I sent you, and he will guide you to the end. You are being sent on a quest into the dungeon of the Temple of Storms? Ha! Come and fight me, coward. Defeat will be your reward. Krakotep ensured only the worthy could enter the inner sanctum. If you dare, step onto the teleporter at my right to try the test of strength. See if you can defeat the Son of Storms! You have passed the test of strength, but will you pass the next test? We shall see. <laughs> we value intelligence as well as strength. Think you're clever enough? Then step onto the teleporter at my left and try the test of aptitude. Those things that live must shine bright. Those things that do not live must remain dark. A 
At night the moon shines bright, and the sun sleeps till dawn. The lighting in here isn't quite right for a storm. Much better. The words on the page are clearly readable. The sun shines down on the tree. Tree shades the snake. The snake hisses at the beetle. The beetle runs away. test of strength and the test of aptitude. Prepare to enter the inner sanctum at once. Who dares enter my inner sanctum? You, a member of the Order of the Fang? No doubt you've come for the Croconomicon. It shall never fall into your foul hands. Prepare to be vanquished. Your triumph means nothing, young wizard. You shall never possess the Croconomicon. I sealed the Croconomicon in the sarcophagus of the souls long ago. When the Dark One awoke me, imagine his dismay to find the sarcophagus had already been taken. Much like the dismay I see on your face. I hope the Order enjoys your victory, hollow as it is. Crocopatra's laughter echoes in the empty chamber until silence reigns at last. Amazing! By defeating her, you stop the Tut army. You have done very well, young wizard, thanks to your efforts. I can now rest in peace. I'm sorry you did not find the Croconomicon, but when you do, I can think of no better person to protect it than you. The strangers here fought bravely against the Tut army and should know you have ended the threat. Return to the surface and report your success. So, you've defeated the mighty Crocopatra, have you? You're fast becoming the stuff of legend, young wizard. Without a leader, the touch should be easy to manage now. As much as you help me, I must seem pretty ungrateful. Here's what I can do. It's something inside the sarcophagus of the souls you're looking for, eh? A book, right? We ship the sarcophagus off to the Royal Museum on Marlebone with some other artifacts. Take this Marlebone spiral key and go through the spiral door to Marlebone. Private Kinsley will help you find that book you're after. You've got to recover it before it's used for evil. Private Kinsley gives you a winning salute. 
Welcome to Marleybone, wizard. I'm under orders to direct you wherever you need to go. The sarcophagus? You'll need to speak with the curator in the museum. He'll know how to help. Ah, yes. We received the sarcophagus and it is currently being processed for display. I'm sorry. You cannot see the sarcophagus even if the Croconomicon is within it. It's extremely fragile. We can't have the general public rummaging through the museum. Go talk to Mayor Pimsbury at Digmore Station. Only he can make exceptions. Hello there. How can I help you? Ah, you seek the Croconomicon. I assure you, the safest place for it in all of Marlebone is in the museum itself. The museum is protected from most magic, but I cannot say the same for the streets. We're struggling with a gang uprising, you see. I dare not let anything out of the museum until the streets have returned to normal. But perhaps if you were to help with that problem... Sherlock Bones is investigating the O'Leary gang. He's working with the Yard, coordinating efforts from the air station. Speak with him, then we will see about your Croconomicon. No need to explain. It's elementary. You've come from Wizard City, and the mayor sent you to help investigate the O'Leary gang. Let's begin at once. Something's afoot in our fair city, and I've deduced the O'Learys are behind it, perhaps working for a far more sinister and hidden enemy. We must leave no stone unturned. I've had occasion to work with one called Ms. Conrail. Seek her out in Hyde Park and learn what you may. Bone sent you, has he? Even a great detective needs a hand now and then, eh? Oh, I'm nothing special. I just keep an eye on the neighborhood. That's how I learned an O'Leary is willing to part with some inside information. I've arranged a meeting with Baxter, but he's afraid the other O'Learys will catch on. A wizard like you should put him at ease. Meet Baxter at the greenhouse near the fountains. He should give the goods on whatever those O'Learys are after. I've got you now! An ambush? The O'Learys must be getting wise to us. Imagined if I had gone to meet Baxter. Good thing you were there. Let's find Baxter before the O'Learys do. A little birdie told me the location of a few of his hideouts. Go look for him in each safe house. Be careful, love. We can't lose him. Try to stop him before he gets away. Ha! Oh, you won't find Baxter here, but you will find your end. Oh, you're not Baxter. You'll regret meeting me, you will. More ambushes? Baxter must have the real goods on the O'Learys. No matter, we'll save him. I've got a bloke who might know where Baxter is. Won't part with information nice and easy, though. I don't condone it, but a spot of the old rough and tumble might be in order. Find Willie Marks beyond the garden, defeat him, and he'll tell us what we need to know. What a pathetic excuse for an opponent you are, wizard. Now why did I go tangling with a wizard? All right, you got me. 
I know where Baxter is. They're keeping him at the old Hyde fraternity house, but you'll never have him. It's locked up tight. Willie said we'd never get Baxter out of the old fraternity house. I know something he doesn't. If he's there, the Big Mucks haven't had a chance to get their clues into him. Great job, wizard. We'll find him yet. Can't save Baxter if we can't get through the door. As it so happens, I know a few scoundrels who have the right tools. We can't give up on Baxter now. Defeat the hooligans around here and pick up some lockpicks. I won't tell a soul. You managed it, did you? Regular lot of convicts with all these lockpicks, aren't they? No time to muck around. Take these lockpicks to the Hyde Fraternity House in the upper left-hand corner of your map. Find Baxter before the O'Learys know we've found him. Go quickly. Ow! I'm being kidnapped! Don't let the metal men take me! You will not have this one, wizard. We must return with him to our master. Resistance is futile. Please don't let him take me! No! They took Baxter? Well, I know you did all you could. Maybe there is still hope. Tell Mr. Bones that a clockwork has Baxter. Maybe he can sort the whole thing out. Best of luck, wizard. A clockwork kidnapped Baxter? It would seem that we have touched a nerve with them, and they are becoming bold. But all is not lost. I've heard rumors about those metal men lurking over by Chelsea Tower. The game is still afoot, my friend. We have much work to do. If we are to locate Baxter, we must call upon Miss Marfley over in Chelsea Court. She keeps an eye on that neighborhood and knows what goes on over there. I have heard her speak of those clockworks by the Chelsea Tower. Seek her out at once. I'm honored that Mr. Bones sent you to me on such important business in this time of crisis. Miss Marfilly smiles with an amused twinkle in her eye. I certainly expected he would not perform the honor himself. If your man was taken by a clockwork, the solution is quite simple. Go look inside the clock tower. Eyes peer through a hole in the door, and a voice issues from inside. Password? No password, no entry. Word? Curious. This may require more effort than I thought. A gentleman with unsavory friends owes me a favor. His word insists on a show of power, so I must leave that to you. Find William Pugsby by Chelsea Tower. Tell him I sent you, and he'll help you with the password. All right, you may be a wizard, but I don't talk to just anyone. But if Ms. Marfley sent you, I'll hear you out. You want to get into the tower, do you? Sheikh O'Leary changes the blasted password whenever he pleases. Sure, I associate with O'Leary's, but I'm as decent as they come. That Sheikh's is a right loon. Defeat Sheikh's at his hideout at the street, and he won't change the password out from under you. You want to play rough, okay? Say hello to my little friend, Bruiser. Brilliant. With Shakes gone, no one can change the password. Bad luck he didn't have it on him. Shakes would have sent out the last password to the big muckers. That's not me, I'm decent. 
I wager Timmy Icepick has the password. Let's just say you don't want him to reach the clock tower before you. Defeat Timmy Icepick at the opposite end of the neighborhood. He'll have your password. Don't be surprised if you find yourself a little chilly after this battle. Hey, I can't believe I was put on ice by such a little wizard. And don't tell anyone, okay? You find a piece of paper with today's date and a password. Thanks for that. They must be on to us. Right, you've got the password. Afraid it's gotten too dangerous for me. We can't all be wizards. I pay my debts, I do. Tell Ms. Marfilly I did what you asked. Best of luck, wizard. I'm glad we and Pugsby could help you, but I'd rather not know what you had to do to get it. I've been observing the clock tower. There's no better time than now to rescue your man. Use the password and enter the clock tower. Take care. Eyes peer through a hole in the door, and a voice issues from inside. Password? Once you give the password, the door creaks open. What? You're not supposed to be here. I'll have to drop kick you into next week. I thought I'd seen my last day. I can't thank you properly, so I won't. At least not now. I hear Mr. Bones will pay for my information. The O'Leary's have a big plan. You'll see. But they got designs on me as well. I should be going. Give my thanks to anyone who helped find me. You found him. I never doubted you would. A pleasure working with you, young wizard. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's impressed. Speaking of Mr. Bones, you best run off to see him at Digmore Station, where he's coordinating with the police. Tell him I said hello. My thanks. I spoke with Baxter a moment ago. I could not have done better myself. What? Miss Marfley said hello? Excellent. Excellent indeed. Your daring escapades have led me to conclude we must meet away from prying eyes. Baxter will meet us at my home at 221 Barker Street in Regent Square. We'll have these O'Leary's yet. Excellent. With all present, we can now get at the truth. That was fair play what you did. Here's thanks. I was knocking about a bit by the ironworks, minding my own business, mind you, and I see Pops O'Leary. His men see me and what do they do? Come after me. Me, minding my own business. Been running ever since. Well, that takes the biscuit. I tell you, Pops is up to no good at the ironworks. Take a look there. You'll see what's what. Excellent work. Meet me back at Digmore Station for our next step. Good, you're here. Now let's get down to business. You alone have the power to uncover the O'Leary plot. You must enter the ironworks and discover their intentions. Find Baxter at the ironworks. His inside knowledge may prove valuable. You think you're ready for the ironworks? Huh, I don't think so, tiny wizard. Not only is it a rough neighborhood, but it's a dungeon. Oh, 
I give you what help I can, but you've got to promise to keep my name out of it. Here's where I last saw Pops O'Leary. He went through that door, but you'd need more than O'Leary luck to get through it. You'll need a key. Say, those O'Leary nappers always go where they shouldn't. You may have to defeat a couple of O'Leary nappers before you find a key, though. You handled that in nothing flat. Glad I'm on your side. Go on, then. Open the door. The second door is closed? They normally keep that one open. They may know we're coming. Tell you what, Nails O'Leary will have the combination to that lock. He's just around the corner, hiding in the clock tower. Get the combination from him, then meet me back here. What? You need the combination to the gate to see Pops? You expect me just to tell you that? <laughs> You's gonna have to beat it out of me. <laughs> I don't think you know who you're messing with. Nails don't bend for no one. Oh, that's a first. Nails gets hammered by a little bitty wizard. Okay, I'll give to you the combination to get your trues to gate. Looks up on your ways out of here. Excellent. Now go open the gate with the combination you got from Nails. So I'm not recognized. I have to take the back way, but I'll catch up with you at the factory. I just saw one of Pops' henchmen carrying some plans. If you find them, bring them back here. They may be the key to all of this. When you go into the place, head to your right and down the ramp. Look out, he's got a lot of his boys down there. Wouldn't you know it, they are blueprints. But of Newgate Prison? Baxter points to an area on the blueprints where a note reads, Enter here. Wait a minute. He wants to break someone out of there? That can't be good for any of us. Breaking someone out of Newgate Prison is bad news for everyone. Even a sneak like me knows it. You'd better defeat Pops before he can pull it off. By now, Pops is probably in a secret room upstairs. I bet my last pint of milk that's where he's hiding. When you walk in, make sure you go to the left and up the ramp. A voice hisses from the other side of the door. If I don't hear the secret knock, you are not getting by. A secret knock? How was I supposed to know? I see Pops has a lot more security than he used to. He must be into something really big these days. Brady the Sneak works directly under Pops, so he will know the secret knock. Defeat him, and you can go up against Pops himself. He's usually playing cards in a warehouse down the street. You'll have to go through the factory to get there. Go to your right and down the ramp, and head out the back entrance.
think you can get to Popstone me? Ha, oh, you wish. But I'll introduce you to someone else first. Prepare to say hello to my poor wizard. Have mercy on me, wizard. I'm ready to tell you what you need to know. The knock is knock, tap, tap, knock, tap, knock, knock, knock. That's the right knock. All right, I'll open the door for you. How did you get through all my security? No matter, no measly little wizard is going to derail my plans. You may have beaten me, wizard, but you're still too late. I've already ordered the raid. A bit of good news and a bit of bad news, isn't it? Even with Pops out of the way, the raid will go on without him. Go on and on, Mr. Bones. I will remain here and pit my intellect at deducing who is behind it all. But you, my young friend, must warn the Yard at once. My colleague and companion, Watson, ventured to Scotland Yard this morning. Hurry there and speak with him. Make haste. Thank goodness you've come. The O'Learys are attacking. The O'Leary gang has attacked across the city. I haven't seen it like this since the war. They're up to something terrible, I fear. I must warn you, the gang intends to free Miaoyati, a most clever and dangerous thief. His freedom spells disaster for the whole city. An old injury prevents me from getting back in the thick of it, but a wizard like you could make the difference. Speak with Officer Ness inside Newgate Prison at once. Indeed. Watson thought rightly to send you, what with Newgate Prison under attack and all of that business. What a day! Bless me, but we need your services quite a bit. That bloke Malister has been summoning the undead to fight. I'm right glad Watson sent you. Malister aims to use the undead to free Miawiari. Better reach Miawiyari's cell at the top of the second tower before it is too late. Oi! Miawiyari's getting away! I seen him. Miawiyari's hot footed across the rooftops to the right. After him! You want to catch me? <laughs> You'll find I'm more than common street rabble. I have friends in powerful places. A shame you'll never meet them. I heard Meowie already running across those rooftops. Talking to someone he was. Hurry and catch him. We can't lose him. Try to stop him before he gets away. You've got him on the run. Follow him up this way. If he doubles back, I've got him. I see you didn't take to my soldier. Then let me introduce you to my good friend. I can't believe my blooming eyes. Did you see that? He summoned undead, he did. He must have had help of the magical sort. The sort you can handle a sight better than we. There's an O'Leary hideout down the street. We haven't let on we know about it. Look for Miawiati there before we move someplace we don't know about. You'll never catch Miawiati. Have mercy on me. I got three little ones at home. 
Meow Yardy just left, I'm telling you. You can still catch him. He said something about the old warehouse. My, my. You don't give up, do you? You need to learn when you can't win. Allow me to teach you why. Go on, then. I saw him run inside the North Clock Tower. Capture him. I grow weary of this game you insist on playing. I'm out of patience, but you're out of constables. Even if you survive, you won't be able to follow me. Cheerio. Are you quite certain you saw Meowyarty with Malastair? By Jove, you've uncovered the power behind the O'Leary's gang. Finding Meowyarty will require footwork, but all of our detectives are tied up on other cases. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Jacques the Scratcher is ravaging Knight's Court, terrorizing the general public. You should speak to Sergeant Stieg there and offer your assistance. He's a good one, that Watson. Much obliged you could help with Jacques the Scratcher. We're sorely strapped when it comes to manpower. We've been scratching our heads over him for quite some time. <laughs> no pun intended, of course. Jacques the Scratcher's at it again, scratching fair maidens. My boys and I are baffled as to his whereabouts. But perhaps a young wizard like you can crack the case. I fear that Lady Milltop may have been attacked. Find out she's all right. Help! I'm being scratched! My heavens, that's Lady Milltop. She's in danger. You must save her. Defeat Jacques before he strikes again. I'll round up my boys for backup. Good luck. Thank goodness you're here. It was horrible. I was just attacked by a brute of a cat. He ran into this clock tower right here. Please bring him to justice before he scratches again. Prepare to be scratched out of existence, wizard. It won't be so easy next time. I'm not finished with you yet. Jacques the Scratcher staggers off and hisses. Jacques the Scratcher escaped? Goodness, not again. But don't despair. We'll track him down soon enough. If it weren't for his clever disguises, we'd have caught him long ago. My boys are occupied with reports of deadly scratchings. No doubt the work of Jacques the Scratcher and his ruffians. See what you can do to dispose of these deadly scratches. Brilliant. Our reports of scratchings have lessened considerably. My thanks to you, young wizard. I'm truly impressed. Now that the deadly scratchings have lessened, let's look to the case. I see Lady Dalton reported an incident last night. Talk to her. See what she knows about Jacques the Scratcher. Why, thank you, dear, for calling on me. I appreciate the concern. My encounter with Jacques the Scratcher was such a horrid experience. All I recall is that he carried a black bag. Excellent work, young wizard. Our first clue. We've yet to locate Jacques the Scratcher. We need more clues. Lady Brooks reported a scratcher not too long ago. She's standing nearby. Go talk to the young lady and ask her what she remembers. I 
came home one night and Jacques the Scratcher attacked me. I've been scared to go back ever since. Please, young wizard, do what you can to stop these awful scratchings. I want you to ask the constables to come and make sure my place is safe. Oh dear, how terrible. Jacques and his ruffians are more active than I expected. Thanks, young wizard. Your input has been invaluable. My boys and I are still dealing with that prison break. We haven't the time to follow up with Lady Brooks's request. Can you comfort her by searching her place and making sure it's safe? Mind you, her place is in a clock tower, so you can't miss it. A wizard? Get them, Scratchers. Sacre bleu, we have been discovered. Hmm, the master told us we cannot be found. It seems we must be sure you will tell no one about us, wizard. You find a crumpled glove with the initials XX on the floor. A glove with the initials XX? Oh, your sleuthing skills are astounding. This may be the evidence we need to crack the case. We're puzzled as to the meaning of all these clues. Old Crankinock could solve it, but he's off duty now. He's a regular Mr. Burt's Bones and Biscuits in Regent Square. Find him there and see if he's willing to help. Ah, oh, Steve sent you. An old copper like me could use some excitement. Hmm, glove with XX. Knight's Court and a black bag. Exactly. He must be a doctor with initials XX who lives in Knight's Court. That cranking up, he's got it. Hmm. Dr. Xavier Zandros lives in the Knight's Tower. That's near Knight's Court. Great work, young wizard. We'll be sure to investigate this doctor. We've checked all the clues and they all add up. Dr. Xavier Zandros is Jacques the Scratcher. He's up ahead in Knight's Tower. You've proved your mettle. Hurry there and defeat him before he menaces another lady. You again? Can't believe you found me. Doesn't matter, you'll soon be my next victim. You defeated Jacques the Scratcher? My, my, you're an accomplished detective. We could use a wizard like you on our force. We couldn't have gotten Jacques the Scratcher without you. Let Watson know how you finish off Jacques the Scratcher. He'll be waiting for you on the Scotland Yard roof. Good to know our fair ladies need not fear Jacques the Scratcher anymore. With the Jacques the Scratcher case solved, thanks to you, our detectives have uncovered the scientist behind these metal men. Meet me in Dr. Katzenstein's lab. Perhaps we'll find out more about the clockworks and their connection to Miaoyati. Hmm. Think you can defeat me in my own instance level? We shall see. I hope you didn't have any trouble reaching me. Now, how the deuce will we reach Dr. Katzenstein himself? We haven't got the right combination to enter this place, and no time to dally. Take this turnkey and go forth. There is a metal man known as Firegut who has some sway on these rooftops. Maybe he knows the right combination. The flames will consume you in defeat. Little one. Now that I am defeated, I have no choice but to reveal the combination. Do with it what you must, wizard.
Another gate with a combination. Hmm, let me think. It looks like our only choice is to revisit those clockworks. I'm sure if you defeat Clanker, you'll get what you need. Prepare to be broken, kid. A clue appears in the corner. Jolly good. Now, let's get to it. Open that door and find Dr. Ketchenstein's lab. Smoke billows clog the way, but clean air opens it. I've got the brains and the brawn. You stand no chance. Please don't hurt me, mighty wizard. I can help you. Maybe. Please? Me, Grunk. I watch my master build clockworks. I can do the same for you. We build a clockwork, yes? And it'll tell us where the other clockworks went. Yes! I remember now. We need clockwork parts to build a clockwork. Parts are in crates. Find crates and bring crates to the center platform. See? Grunk knows how to make a clockwork. You did good job, just like Grunk. Now clockwork needs power. Turn on the computers, power up the system, and charge up the clockwork. Told you clockwork knows. Meow Earty is in Big Ben Clock Tower. Go tell your master what you know, and don't bother Grunk no more. You have no master? Hmm. Maybe I not have one either. Suggest you go and find one named Watson. So, Meowyarty is hidden inside Big Ben and is making metal men to protect him? 
Interesting. Bones must know the full story. I've been informed he's waiting at the museum at the base of Big Ben. Good luck, young wizard. Excellent deductive work, young wizard. I'm afraid Miawiati and the O'Learys broke into the museum before we could stop them. The constables are attempting to find a way inside Big Ben to capture Miawiati. A puzzle better suited to a wizard, I say. Have you heard the terrible news? Miawiati has stolen the Crokonomicon and locked himself in Big Ben Clock Tower. Quick, find Gus in Counterweight East. He knows how to reset the counterweights so that you can enter the clock tower. Now is the time for Sprocket to make you dance. Dance to the tune of your undoing, slow-thinking human. You will have naught but defeat in the dungeon you call Counterweight East. Sure, I'll help with the counterweights. Aha! It seems a certain metal man is keeping the counterweight down. Every time I pull the levers to lift the counterweight, he brings the weight back down. Pull the four levers in this tower and see if you can stop him from making a mess of it. Gus shouts out from below. That should do it. Now I'll go teach that metal man a lesson. It's too bad I have to mess up your pretty little hat. But I do. Looks like we're on the right track. Good job. I can't help you with the other counterweight. You'll have to find Sally in Counterweight West. She'll help you with the other one. You think you are ready for Counterweight West? Foolish human. This dungeon will be your doom. I'd be happy to help you. I want to help, but there's a metal man fooling with the counterweight. Every time the lever is pulled and lifts the weight, he pushes the weight back down. It's infuriating. Will you see what you can do to stop him? Sally shouts from below. That should do it. Now report back. But first, you can teach that metal man a lesson or two. Nothing can save you now, wizard. Come fight me. Now that you've freed the counterweights, the doors of Big Ben Clock Tower should open to you. Miawiati had disabled the lifts, but now you should have access to the very top of the tower. Our hopes lie with you to stop Miawiati in time and halt his fiendish intent. Good luck, wizard! Can you act as a destruction? 
I can make my way up to the maintenance areas if you take the elevators. I'll see if I can get ahead of them. Blimey, those were a lot of stairs for me to climb. Oh, I'm not as young as I once was. There's no way I could have helped fight those guys at any rate. I tried to get ahead of them, but they've blocked off the stairs. You'll have to continue on your own from here. I'm sorry I was of no use. Good luck, Gov. Did I just hear someone spill some milk? Don't you do that again. Milk is too good to waste. You hear the gears of the clock start to move. One. Do that again and you'll be sorry, milk spiller! That's it. You're gonna pay for that now. Just wait till I get my paws on you, milk waster. So you think knocking over my bottles is funny? Well, I'm not one to cry over spilled milk. Let me introduce myself. Spike is me name, and crushing wizards is me game. Again? I don't have time for this. You realize you're too late. With a Crocunomicon, I have everything I need to finish what I have started. But I can't have you following me to Dragonspire. Miawiati, take care of this pest once and for all. It will be a pleasure to take care of this meddlesome wizard. Once I scratch you off our list, we'll have no one to stop us. Inconceivable! How could a mere child defeat me? Ha! Grow complacent, wizard. Malister will avenge me. You've defeated Miawiati and driven Malister from our fair city. Our thanks to you, wizard. Indeed, our city is most grateful. I hereby dub you honorary detective. You are our city's savior. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Indeed, indeed. Fantastic work. You should publish an account of the case. If you won't, I will for you. Do visit us again. 
And feel free to stop by the museum, too. Now that Malister has the Croconomicon, there will be no limit to his nefarious deeds. His aim was to steal the Croconomicon from the museum all along. Why else would Malister risk freeing Miawiati but to get past the anti-magic defenses in the museum? You must leave for Wizard City at once and tell Headmaster Ambrose what has transpired here. Malastare has the Croconomicon and said he was going to Dragonspire? Hmm, this could be trouble. If Malastare is headed for Dragonspire, he'll need the Spiral Key, and only the Emperor of Mushu has it. The Headmaster hands you a glimmering Spiral Key. Here, take this Spiral Key and use it to travel to Mushu. When there, you must warn the Emperor not to let the Dragonspire Key out of his sight. The fate of all the worlds is at stake. Greetings, traveler from the City of Wizards. It is always good to see someone from your world visit here in Mushu. So you want to see the Emperor Wizard? I have already said too much. No one may see His Imperial Majesty without permission from His Majesty's guard. However, I can save you some time. Go speak to the guard Noburu Akitami by the Jade Palace. If anyone can help you, he can. Shu Li sent you? Noboru Akitami stares at you for a moment. Very well, esteemed wizard. We are honored that you traveled so far to visit Mushu. You seek His Majesty the Emperor, but another wizard such as you has already come before using the same beguiling words. Malastare was his name. Since that unfortunate visit, no one may see his imperial majesty. We will make an exception only if you willingly submit to the tests of mind, body, and spirit. I must warn you that no one has ever passed all three tests except for his imperial majesty himself. If you accept, Lopang will administer the first test by the rock garden. Greetings. I confess that I'm surprised Noboru Akatami sent you. I have never administered the test of mind to anyone other than a monk. Welcome to the Rock Garden, esteemed wizard. I see you are anxious to pursue your quest. However, there are many evils loose in the spiral, and the one you seek to battle is but one of them. Still, to be as the Muda is to be at peace and pure of mind. I hope that the Rock Garden will lead you to peace as it has for me. Go now. Enter and clear your mind. Afterwards, go inside the dojo and see what wisdom you can learn there. Come to me when you are finished with your journey. I will be able to tell if you are truly pure of mind. You study the rocks and the patterns in the sand and see the manifestation of inner peace and strength. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Yes, yes, you have learned much. You are on the path to the Muda. Remember to keep this inner peace within you, always. Return to the Emperor God Noboru Akatame with my best wishes. Ah, Lo Peng says that you passed his test. I am now satisfied that you are pure of mind. I expect a wizard can easily pass the test of mind. But what about the test of body? 
for your second test, challenge Samurai Yochimotoyo to a duel and defeat him with honor. We await you by the water dojo. You wish to battle me? I would be honored. I've never faced a wizard. Let us prepare and meet again inside the dojo. Impressive. It was an honor to fight you. You walk like a victor. If you defeated Yochimotoyo, you are indeed a formidable opponent. You must be a powerful wizard to pass the test of body, but your training can't help you pass the final test. One's true spirit cannot be disguised. Many would rather run than face the judgment of the Muda. If you are truly pure of spirit, visit the statue of the Muda at the center of the palace grounds and let your true spirit shine. You stand before the statue of the Muda and it suddenly speaks. Young wizard, you have done much good in your time. The shining spirit of a true hero is evident in you. You have passed the test of spirit. Difficulties approach you, but do not despair. If you keep to clarity of mind, strength of body, and purity of spirit, you will ultimately triumph. You... you passed the test? Most esteemed wizard, you are indeed pure of mind, body, and spirit. Forgive my lack of faith. I only thought of the safety of his benevolent majesty. Find my superior, the Jade Champion within the Emperor's throne room. He will help deliver your message to his Imperial Majesty. You passed the three tests? Noburu Akitame was bored, but wise to administer them to you. You are indeed welcome, and needed here. The Jade Champion sighs with sadness as you deliver Ambrose's warning about Malastair. You are too late! The wizard Malastair already petitioned his benevolent majesty for the spiral key to Dragonspire. When his imperial majesty refused, that Foul wizard cruelly wounded him, and fled through the gate to Dragonspire. I... I could not stop him. Only his Imperial Majesty can grant you the Spiral Key, but his wound has made him gravely ill. I trust you to keep this a secret. We do not wish to frighten our people with fear for the Emperor's health. If you wish to use the Dragonspire Spiral Key, you must restore his benevolent Majesty's health. Please speak with Tan King, the High Monk. He can tell you how. Thank you for seeking me out. Whether it is your need for the Dragon Spire Spiral Key or the Muda's Invisible Hand that brought you here, I am grateful for your help, Wizard. We have a large task ahead of us. In order to heal His Imperial Majesty, we must restore his mind, body, and spirit. All is not well. While His Imperial Majesty inwardly fights for purity of spirit, the people fight each other on land. Warlord Katsumori has taken His Benevolent Majesty's sword and plunged us into war. I've always believed in the tie between the Emperor and the land, but never witnessed it until now. If we cure His Imperial Majesty's spirit, we may well end the war. Will you help us? The spirit of a samurai resides in his sword, so we must recover his Imperial Majesty's sword from Warlord Katsumori. Samurai Shojiro Gama at Hamatsu Village can tell you more.
Wizard, you arrive at a fateful time. Perhaps with your assistance, the tide of war will turn. We have dishonored his imperial majesty. If this village falls, all is lost. Our once peaceful warlord has scattered our forces, and I... Gama grimaces as he clutches his side. I have no strength. I am ashamed to ask. But can you rescue my missing men trapped in the outskirts of the village? Return when you have found them all. An emissary of his Imperial Majesty. If you have cleared the way, I will make it back. Thank you, revered wizard. I never thought I would live to see a wizard. Thank you. I can't wait to return and fight. I'm free. I will return to Samurai Gama. You have my thanks. Humble that they are. You've rescued me. What an honor. I can make it back to fight on my own. You found the missing men. I thank you. Perhaps we may yet honor his imperial majesty and retrieve his sword. The evil warlord Katsumori stole our weapons, and now my men must combat the enemy with only their bare fists. Katsumori shamefully attacked while we were celebrating the Festival of Lights. If you can retrieve those weapons, we will bring shame upon him. Weapons were in crates, so look for those. Ah, with these weapons now back in the hands of my men, Warlord Katsumori will regret attacking us. Thank you, wizard. I've learned that forces of the vile Warlord Katsumori are gathering to attack. They expect us to be weak. I don't want to reveal our strength just yet. What we need is a secret attack by a small group or a wizard. Could you defeat several bandits and outlaws? That will buy us time to regroup. Say no more. I have seen your results. While the enemy's forces scatter, our men grow stronger. You do us great honor. I know this warlord Katsumori well. He always wanted to stand against his benevolent majesty and stole his sword when we least expected it. To defeat him, we must know his actions ahead of time by intercepting his orders. While my men fight for every inch, you are best equipped to slip behind enemy lines and take the orders from the courier. Bring them back here. You have the orders! He reads the orders with an expression of great concern. Very informative. Someone dishonors us. There is a spy within our ranks reporting to the enemy. These orders don't reveal the spy, but he reports to Dodaga, one of Warlord Katsumori's worst warlords. Warlord Katsumori has ordered him to attack our weak flank. If my men attack him, the warlord will know we have intercepted these orders. Only you can defeat Dodaga to stop the attack, esteemed wizard. Your skills are mediocre at best. Too bad you may see some real fighting only once before your defeat.
You have defeated Dodaga? Excellent! You have secured the village, fighting for it as if it were your own. It's only a matter of time before this spy reports our efforts to retrieve the sword. He must be stationed at the outpost up ahead, which has just been overrun. I can only trust you with this matter. Go speak with Sanasai. He's become the leader there, though I doubt his skills. Help him if you can, and find the spy. Gamma sent you. He doesn't trust me, and perhaps he's right. We've been overrun since I took charge. Nevertheless, I'll take what help I can get. We have to take back this outpost, or the enemy will prevent you from getting his Imperial Majesty's sword. I must prove myself to Samurai Gamma. Sanusai purses his lips as he ponders his next move. I think we should scout out the enemy towers to learn what they have. If you visit all the towers and report back, I can focus on regrouping my men. A lot of supplies, you say? Hmm. The enemy must have good supply lines. If we were to cut them, his forces would be weakened and wither. My men are fighting in the outskirts. I would be grateful if you would speak with Shai Feng nearby and determine how to cut the enemy's supply lines. Sanasai was smart to send you. I know how to cut supply lines, but I don't have the military force to do so. I left my family to volunteer here, so the sooner we cut the supplies, the better. Excuse my boldness, revered wizard. They've ordered their supplies throughout the area. If you can get past the guards, can you destroy their supplies? I'm glad you destroyed the supplies, wizard. I'll tell you why. Warlord Katsumori always threw a generous feast for the Festival of Lights. But this time, he destroyed his own celebration. Who knows what Warlord Katsumori planned for those supplies? While you were destroying their supplies, they sent out supply runners to get more. Defeat their supply runners, or this battle will never end. You can do this when you are ready, of course, but time is of the essence. I now see why you are so revered. Our job here is nearly done. We have stopped the supplies for now, but even if Warlord Katsumori has gone mad, he is no fool. His quartermaster will find a new way to send supplies. Finish the job, revered wizard. Defeat the quartermaster and cut supplies to this outpost for good. From the looks of you, you must have caught my men by surprise. Not me! <laughs> you have defeated the Quartermaster, then you have broken the supply lines at last. No more supplies will make it to this outpost. You made sure of that. If you can fight, so can I. I've decided to stay longer to help defeat Warlord Katsumori. Tell Sanasai your job is done. I hope you will discover why Warlord Katsumori started this war. Amazing. I don't know whether to thank you more for cutting the enemy's supply lines or for convincing Shai Feng to fight on. I am in your debt either way. I hope I am right in thinking that with the supply lines cut, we must also cut their line of communication. 
But what about the spy Gamma mentioned? He expects much of me. We will need a large distraction. If you go to the scout towers and set fire to them, I can focus on finding this spy. I see the flames already. You have done well, wizard. It is hard to believe that this war began when his Imperial Majesty refused Warlord Katsumori's festival gift. Now we all must fight to save our land. I have discovered Gamma's spy. He's no spy at all, but the leader of this enemy outpost. He hides within the old dojo. One of the Ronin took the dojo's key when we were overrun. My men need to prepare for battle. I have a plan, but first, I must ask you to combat Ronin until you find the one with the key to the old dojo. You have the key. This plan may well work. Perhaps I'm not as bad a leader as Gamma believes. Wizard, make your way to the old dojo and defeat Maito. My men will distract the bulk of his forces while you attack. In what world do you think you can take me on? Not this one, wizard. Sanasai smiles broadly at you. A great victory was won today, thanks to you. Your help gave me the courage to retake this outpost. You will be able to face Warlord Katsumori soon. My brother Gama must accept this victory. You did not know. It does not surprise me Gama never claimed me as his brother. Perhaps he will now. We will take care of the rest of the forces here. Return to Hametsu village and tell Shojiro Gama the news. Tanasai guided you to victory. You have shown me that I should have greater faith in my little brother. Thank you for opening my eyes, wizard. Your work with my younger brother has pushed the enemy back. Now is your chance to fulfill your destiny and return the sword. Speak with Hoi Mang at the front, in the Crimson Fields. He leads our troops against Warlord Katsumori and will know the best way to seize the sword. Leave this place, wizard. This is my dungeon. You will not survive. Samurai Sojiro Gama sent you. I welcome your help. You must defeat the war only, and recover the Emperor's sword. We have been waiting for you. If you would honor the General with your presence, please, take this to him in the fort. Ah, so you've come for His Imperial Majesty's sword. I assure you, you won't leave here without it. Warlord Katsumori is preparing a counterattack. If we don't prepare our defenses, he could reclaim the village and outpost you worked so hard to free. We must rebuild our barricades. While my men hold the line, gather wood from the piles near here. We will put it to good use. You have more than fulfilled your duty. Your willingness to help honors me, wizard. Rebuild the barricades along the edge of the fort with this wood. As you strengthen our defenses, you strengthen our chances against Warlord Katsumori.
Your work, though it was humble, has immense value. I don't know why Warlord Katsumori has attacked, nor do I care. All I know is never to underestimate Warlord Katsumori. By His Imperial Majesty's throne, Warlord Katsumori knew we would rebuild the barricades here, so he attacked our scout towers. I am a fool. He himself taught me to strengthen defenses before every battle. He counted on me to follow my training. Fortunately, we turned back his attack, but not before his forces had chased my scouts into the forest. Find the scouts so we can keep watch on Warlord Katsumori's movements. It is safe to return? Thank you, revered wizard. I will return to my post. Orders from Rikugon. Thank you, esteemed wizard. I will return to my post. Scouts have begun reporting to me. Thank you. I am ashamed that I played into Warlord Katsumori's hands. Without you, much more would have been lost. My first duty is to His Imperial Majesty, but my second duty is to the land. The spirits of the Earth have called for help, and we must answer. My men are getting into battle position. Could you speak with Bricktop, the Colossus nearby? If you can help, it would honor both the Emperor and the land. You have come in our hour of need. The trolls have taken our sacred stone. Losing it weakens us. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Win the stone from the troll called Grom Foultooth, and we can fight. Grom like war. Grom make war with you and win. Secret stone. Use the stone on the two cairns outside the fort for victory over your enemy. I will defend this path, wizard. None shall pass. I will defend this path, wizard. None shall pass. Thank you, living creature. We will fight against your enemy. Tell Rikugan. I see that the Earth itself has joined our fight. We would not have found such strong allies without you. Thank you, wizard. So, you have raised the banners for the Emperor. Looks like I'll have to teach you who to respect around here. My scouts have reported that Warlord Katsumori is moving his troops back. But he taught me too well. He is trying to trick us and intends to attack at once. You can turn the tide of battle. Defeat those forces attacking at the front and we can claim victory today. For his Imperial Majesty! You've done it! Warlord Katsumori's forces are on the run. You have earned our unending respect today. My men have found a secret entrance into Warlord Katsumori's fortress. Now you can seize His Imperial Majesty's sword. Did you think I had forgotten? Once my sword was stolen, and I was lost. 
but a collector from Wizard City returned it to me. The sword is truly the spirit of the samurai. Enter Warlord Katsumori's fortress and win the sword. You will find a worthy foe in Warlord Katsumori. Or his most benevolent majesty! You have shown skill to reach me, but this is where your luck runs out. You have defeated me as Katsumori. Now face me as the War Oni. I will take you down with force you've never seen before. You have found the Emperor's sword. You have returned. What news from the front lines? You have the sword. Because of you, my family and I have honored His Imperial Majesty. Perhaps you have also restored the honor of Warlord Katsumori. I must make one last request. Take the sword to the High Monk, Han King, within the Jade Palace. It was your battle. You deserve the honor, wizard. His Imperial Majesty's sword. I should have trusted that you were the one fated to bring it back. But I was not certain until now. Tan King, the High Monk of Mushu, listens gravely to your battlefield report. What? You fought and defeated an Oni demon? With his Imperial Majesty in a weakened state, the Oni may well have possessed others beside Warlord Katsumori. This is most troubling. We can take nothing for granted. I felt assured that the healing waters of Mushu could cure his benevolent Majesty's mind. But now I worry. Our brothers currently care for these waters. Please visit Sun Hing at Shoshan Village and make sure the water runs pure. What a disaster. Our treasured water is no longer pure. It's a complete nightmare. I don't know what to do. The water was always pure before. My superior will be furious. Woe is me. Perhaps he'd know what to do. Yes, good idea. You can find Din Ho at the Cave of Solitude. Patience, young wizard. There are solutions to all things. We shall make the water pure again. The path set before us is a difficult one, but we must still follow it. The health of the Emperor and of all living things on Mushu depends on our actions. The Plague Oni, a powerful demon, has sickened our water and broken the Jade Scepter that purifies our shrines. We can weaken the Plague Oni by repairing the Jade Scepter. This demon is an ancient enemy. I know its ways. I have discovered the location of a piece of the Jade Scepter. It was taken by mutineers who hide in the forest. Please, retrieve this piece for us. The Muda truly blessed us when you arrived in Mushu. Thanks to your actions, we now have the handle of the Jade Scepter. I consulted the ancient texts once more. They mention Koto at the end of the path. It is likely the Plague Oni gave Koto a piece of the Jade Scepter for safekeeping. As a faithful subject of the Plague Oni, he won't part with his piece easily. Therefore, you must defeat him to get the second piece of the Jade Scepter. You won't like what I'm going to do to you.
You collect the shaft of the Jade Scepter. You have done well. This is the shaft of the Jade Scepter. Only one piece remains missing. As for the last piece, I am uncertain of its location. The texts are unclear to me, but I do know that subjects of the Plague Oni live in the huts around this area. Perhaps they have the last piece. Kindly go and search the huts for the remaining piece of the Jade Scepter. You were attacked. My sincerest apologies, wizard. I led you into danger through my error. It is times like these when I realize that my faith is being put to the test. I hesitate to send you into danger again, so let me know if you would like to proceed. There is a pagoda of significance to the Plague Oni near Benoit. We may be able to find information about the whereabouts of the last piece there. If you are willing, go there and tell me what you can find concerning the missing piece of the Jade Scepter. You dare to test your might on me? What a mistake! A note on the ground reads, Good work on getting me the headpiece. I am relieved that you have returned safely and with good news. I was worried that I had sent you into harm's way needlessly. I should not have doubted the great Muda. Kanago is a formidable opponent, but we can surprise him in his pagoda. He will not be expecting you to find him. Go there and get the remaining piece of the Jade Scepter from him. Ha! Huh, we are prepared. My little piggies warn me that you are coming, wizard. You will never have the Jade Scepter while I still stand. You have found the headpiece. This headpiece you retrieved is the most important part of the Jade Scepter. I hope we can repair all of it soon. In ancient times, the Jade Scepter was blessed by the forest spirits. Ancient spirits, they hold sway over the earth, water, and air spirits. We will need the help of these venerable forest spirits. To do so, we must first catch their attention with offerings of Jade Lotus, Tiger Lily, and Pearl Orchid. Please, gather these flowers and bring them back to me. Wonderful. What a fragrant display. The forest spirits will be pleased. Now gather up the flowers, along with the three pieces of the Jade Scepter, and place them all into the brazier at the center of the cave. Hopefully the forest spirits will hear your prayers. I'll be praying for you too, young wizard. May you go there and return with the Jade Scepter intact. You receive the Jade Scepter. Merciful Muda! I thought perhaps the Jade Scepter would be lost from us forever, but here it is. I see that I must learn to quiet my doubts. With the Jade Scepter, we can now begin to restore our shrines. Please carry the Jade Scepter back to Sun Hing and tell him about all you've done here. You have the Jade Scepter. Thank the Muda. Now, take the Jade Scepter and talk to Tula Kuo at the Kashibi village. 
He's the caretaker of our holy shrines. If we want to weaken the plague, Oni, we need to restore the shrines to their former glory. Tula Kuo is the one to contact about such a thing. Thank you, wizard. We'll need the Jade Scepter to restore our holy shrines. You must seek out the Shrine Guardians of Mind, Body, and Spirit. Only the Jade Scepter can restore the shrines to their former spiritual state. Start with Kin Pao, the Shrine Guardian of the Body Shrine. While the Plague Oni has devastated much, it cannot take away our faith. The shrine? Yes, yes, it must be purified. Why do you ask? Please help me. In my feverish state, I cannot channel the energies of the body to purify the shrine. It's the mushrooms. They cause disease. Deal with the mushrooms before they spread the disease to everyone. Quickly, before you get infected too. Thank you. I can already feel the noxious effects going away. Although I haven't fully recovered, I feel we must act. The sooner the shrine is purified, the sooner the plague Oni will be driven out. Use the Jade Scepter on the shrine of the body while I use my strength to channel energy into the shrine. The shrine has been cleansed of evil spirits. This is a good day for the Muda. The shrine is once again full of energy. Please let Tula Kuo know we have succeeded. I will stay here and recover my strength. Your work makes the great Muda smile. But let us not rejoice just yet. The first shrine is only the beginning. Now, continue our journey by bringing the Jade Scepter to Wu Ping, the guardian of the Shrine of the Mind. Another wizard to conquer. How I wish someone would send me a real challenge. Wu Ping has been taken? Never fear. The Great Muda will prevail. Warlord Katamori's men must have taken Wu Ping. They seek to undermine our will. But as fate would have it, we have a wizard helping us. You will help, won't you? If Katsumori is involved, then it is likely that Wu Ping is being held by Katsumori's henchmen, Ayuchi, and his men. Wizard, you will know the meaning of the word pain after we battle. Merciful Muda, if you hadn't come, I don't know how long they would have kept me. Give me a moment, then seek me out at the Shrine of the Mind. Wizard, come in. Welcome. I feel my mind clearing. Yes. I can still channel the energy into the shrine. Quick, use the Jade Scepter on the shrine so that we can restore the shrine to purity. I can feel the water spirits and I can channel them. My beloved shrine is safe, and I am once again surrounded by its purity. Let Tula Kuo know that we have succeeded. The shrine has been restored to its former beauty. Wizard, 
You are indeed a godsend. The great Muda must be looking after you. The venerable Chang Su is the guardian of the remaining shrine. Bring him the Jade Scepter, and together you will purify the spirit shrine. The monk, Chang Su, appears to have left the shrine. It doesn't surprise me that Cheng Su is not at his shrine. He always retained a warrior spirit within him, despite his years of training as a monk. Perhaps he left to join the fight. We will need a new guardian for the spirit shrine. I know of a warrior named Sashu Nedekai. His spirit is strong enough to tame the temperamental spirits, yet humble and kind enough to aid the needy. You have been to battle. Perhaps you can convince him that serving as a shrine guardian is the best way to serve his most benevolent majesty, the Emperor. Have you come to join the battle? I could use reinforcements. I can't be a monk. I'm a samurai fighting for the glory of his imperial majesty. Did you see how many enemies are out there? Then you know what I'm up against. Help me by defeating some defoulers. You're not bad in a fight. His Imperial Majesty could use someone like you within the Imperial Court. Tell Tula Kuo I'm honored by his request, but I'm a warrior at heart. He'll have to find someone else to be the Shrine Guardian. Ah, Seishu Nedekai's mind has not yet opened up to possibility. Perhaps we can show him there are other equally honorable ways to serve his Imperial Majesty. This year's harvest was stolen by infected villagers. Please, get this food back and take it to Seshu as a gift. hard to come by in these hard times. Thank you, wizard. Seshu pauses, sighing resignedly and shakes his head. I can't accept this food. Everybody else would go hungry. The food should be given to the villagers. I wouldn't want the villagers to miss out on this food. Bring the food back to Tula Kuo and tell him to distribute it like always. So... Seshu wants to give the food to the villagers. He is kind and considerate. Traits of a good monk. However, I sense he will require more persuasion before he agrees to be a shrine guardian. Go back and tell Seshu that a man in the village desires to defend his family, but has no money for a sword. Ask Seshu if he can obtain a sword for this man. No sword? This right and honorable man should have a sword to defend his family. We'll fix that. I'll look for a sword here, but I know someone who's bound to have a good sword. That rogue, Kyoto, stole weapons from the blacksmith. Defeat Kyoto, and we're certain to find a good sword for this honorable villager. These spirits will help me vanquish you from this land. You find no weapons here. No weapons? A shame, as I could only find this rusty sword around here. A man defending his family shouldn't have to use a rusty sword. Listen, 
Here's what we'll do. I'm a trained fighter, so I can make do with the rusty one. Take my good sword and give it to the good villager. Sashun Medikai seems thoughtful and generous. I think he's more than proven himself to be the perfect Shrine Guardian. See if you can convince him now. Those were tests? I guess I never thought of myself as a monk before. But if, as you say, this task is truly important to his Imperial Majesty, then I'm ready to do it. All right, let's get to it. You say you have the Jade Scepter? Okay. I just hope everything goes as planned. I'll meet you at the Shrine of the Spirit. Use the Jade Scepter on the Shrine and I'll try channeling the spirits. Here goes! Wow, what a rush! I could feel those spirits swirling all around. Tula Kuo was very wise to think of me as a Shrine Guardian. Please give him my thanks and tell him the Shrine is pure again. Indeed, this is wonderful news. Go and tell Sun Hing of Shosun village of your work here, how you help to purify our shrines and weaken the plague only. In the years to come, our ballad makers will sing of you, the wizard of Wizard City, and tell of your adventures in Mushu. Until then, please accept this humble monk's appreciation. Finally, you restored the holy shrines. I was getting worried here. So the shrines have been restored, which means the Oni has been weakened. I'd say it's time to take down the plague Oni for good. Din Ho, my superior, is at the Shirataki temple. He'll tell you what to do. Hmm? You think you can defeat me in my own dungeon? We shall see. Perhaps there is a key up the road that would unlock the gate. You seek a way through that gate? Forget your quest, wizard. Here you will only feel the sting of a Ronan blade. You have gotten the key from him. You'll find the plague only in the palace beyond this gate. You must hurry. It is weakened now. I can hear it wailing in distress. If you succeed, find Sun Hing. May the Muda look after you. We will now purify the water. The temple ahead of you is where you must go. But first we must dispatch Haru. He holds the gate key. Defeat Haru and open the temple gate. So you need a key to get through the gate? You'll never take mine. You collect the key from Haru. Now to summon Wavebringer. This water spirit guards the entrance to the river temple. Use the Jade Scepter on the four shrines to summon Wavebringer. Fool. I 
will crush you where you stand. You will shame yourself by appearing in front of me. Just a few moments, you will regret this one. Hey, you are not supposed to be in here. Sleep soundly when I am done with you. Breaking your spirit will give me more pleasure than breaking your wand. Defeated, Aideyoshi crumples to the ground and fades. A demon emerges from his still form. It is the Plague Oni. Wizard, we are most grateful to you for defeating the plague, Oni. Merciful Muda, I never thought that water would be pure again. I feel like I need a serious vacation. Who knew the life of a monk could be so stressful? Please bring this vial of pure water to the high monk Tan King within the Jade Palace. As for me, I shall ponder my life's direction. Ah, a vial of pure water. It was a mistake to assume the waters would remain pure while His Imperial Majesty is ill. Thank you, Wizard. We have what we need to cure His Imperial Majesty's mind and spirit. But to heal his body, we will require fruit from the mystical tree of life. Just like the Oni possessed warlord Katsumori and polluted the waters of Mushu, the Death Oni has twisted the tree of life. Even with all my wisdom, I can't prepare you for what you will face. I urge you to speak with Samurai Hideo Kebo, a regarded elder at Yoshihito Temple. He will be able to guide you to the Tree of Life. May the Muda watch over you. Greetings, wizard. You honor me with your presence. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. This temple 
is all that stands against Oni no Death's evil grip. I have faced the Death Oni many times, but have never defeated it. This time, the Death Oni has fortified itself by the Tree of Life. With a powerful evil spirit, we could cross the cursed river that separates us from him. No evil spirit will go quietly, so we need a legendary spirit cage to control it. I wish there were another way. Believe me. I must work to free spirits from the control of the Death Oni. But you can go to the ancient burial grounds and retrieve a cage. Greetings, young wizard. Magic shines from within you. You burn like the brightest beacon to these ghostly eyes. You are on a mission, are you not? From my descendant, Hideo Kebo, you seek the spirit cage. Do not wonder how I know. It is puzzling enough what brings me here after my death. The Death Oni has taken control of many in this graveyard. But if you've come to defeat him, I will help. In my time, three brothers possessed the spirit cage. Read the inscription on the grave of the eldest, and you may discover where to find the cage. You write down the first part of the mantra. The inscription is incomplete. Ah, clever even in death those brothers are. It is but the first part of a clue. The second brother, Orphan, went to the training dojo to meditate. Search the training dojo and you will no doubt find another clue to the spirit cage. You were attacked. You're certainly scaring someone. We must be on the right track. The first two inscriptions make sense together. The portal to the spirit world, no one living can enter. A strong spirit must have stolen the spirit cage and taken it where it had no power. But how is it the brothers never told me about the loss? There must be more. A third inscription. A puzzle indeed, but perhaps the youngest brother often battled monsters at the back of this graveyard. Now, Tamauchi lurks there. Defeat him and find the last inscription. I, eager to solve this puzzle. The harmony in your heart is about to be disturbed, wizard. Torch of Spirits. Of course, I understand now. You have done your job well, young wizard. I am shamed to admit that it took so long for me to do my part. You have completed the Brothers' inscription, which is actually a guide for the living to find the Spirit Cage. You will first need the Spirit Torch to light the way. That is, you will need it to light the summoning candles that open the portal to the spirit world. In my time, a fire elemental protected the spirit torch from the unworthy. I suspect that nothing has changed. Have you come to challenge me, young wizard? You've come back alive. I worried I would only see you again as a spirit. 
Remember the second inscription. When it comes to the spirit world, no one living can enter first. But it says nothing about entering second. I would go first, but I can't seem to leave this spot. I think I have the solution. If you collect dust from a crypt in the burial grounds, you can use it to lead the way into the spirit world. Brilliant, don't you think? You look quite dirty. I meant for you to bring the dust in a pouch, but you wear it well. You have everything you need to open the portal to the spirit world and find the spirit cage. Remember that the cage must be guarded by a powerful spirit. Unfortunately, you won't be able to use the cage to trap it in the spirit world. So you must defeat the spirit once and for all. Ready? Use the three portal summoning candles in the burial mound to open the portal. Once you step through, you can defeat the spirit and bring back the spirit cage. Good luck. me evil for nothing. I will show no mercy. A spirit cage drops to the ground. You have the spirit cage. You have done well. For someone living. I hope the spirit cage helps you defeat Oni no death. I would fight that battle if I could. Ugh, life is wasted on the living. Thank you for letting me help you on your journey. My descendant is anxiously awaiting you. Return to Hideo Kebo at the temple and tell him the good news. You found the spirit cage. Hideo's mouth drops open as you tell him about his ancestor. This temple must be fighting against the control of Oni No Death. I am honored that my ancestor could help you. The power of this temple alone holds back the power of Oni No Death. So here I should remain. You must be the one to capture the evil spirit. No easy task. Take the spirit cage into the village of sorrow ahead. With your strength of will, you should be able to capture a powerful evil spirit. Who's there? Have you been here before? Do I know you? Oh, great wizard, I had to leave my family because an evil spirit haunts us. Ken Shui's lower lip trembles and he speaks in a whisper. Please, revered one, could you do away with these undead? They will surely send the evil spirit after us. You have done as I asked? Thank you, esteemed wizard. I feel much safer. I hoped that our leader would save us from the evil spirit, but I can't find him. He is wise and always knows what to do. I thought to look for him in the town dojo, but I saw the undead lock the dojo with a spectral key. Can you get the key back from one of them? You brought the key. Thank you, great one. Ken Shui reaches out for the key, but his hand passes through it. He looks surprised and confused. I'm a spirit? Forgive me, Great One. I did not realize I was not among the living. Even so, this great evil harms all good spirits here. 
Please find our leader in the town dojo. Even when he was among the living, he knew much about spiritual matters. He can help you stop this evil. Ting Yin's body ripples like water until it shimmers and vanishes. A monstrous shape emerges from it. It is the demon Usanaki. You poor pitiful wizard. I am glad you showed up here. I will do you a favor. I shall put you out of your misery. At last I am free. I thank you, Riviat Wizard. I have been trapped here since the evil spirit pulled me from my family. I sense you carry a spirit cage. If you seek to capture the evil spirit, you will need a soul chain to bind it. One of the other good spirits can I help you forge one. King Ying spoke of a soul chain? Yes, I am amazed at what I understand now. I see how spectral chains would work. For all the spirits here, who could help you forge a chain? Why, the blacksmith. Speak with Ji Hong Bi nearby. When she was alive, she could forge anything. Hello, hello. Welcome to Ji Hong Bi's metal shop. I haven't had customers in. Well, it's been a while. I'll be frank with you. I'm a ghost. I'm not sure what I can help you with, but whatever it is, it's free. You want a soul chain. Hmm. Never had anyone ask me for one, but lots of things change when you become a spirit. I can't make the chain myself, of course, but I can tell you how to do it. First, you'll need to defeat some walking dead to collect some dark souls. Then come back here. Yes, yes, you did a great job getting those dark souls. Now put them in the brazier there and forge your chain. You are doing well, young wizard. There's your chain, all done. Okay, maybe I helped with the spiritual bits, but you did the real work. Thanks for stopping by Shi Hong Bee's metal shop. Go on and show Ken Shui what you did. Maybe he'll start to relax a bit. You have the chain. I was holding my breath till you came back. That is, I would have if I had breath to hold. Oh, brave wizard, do you have everything you need to capture that evil spirit? You'll find the evil spirit's vile self beyond the outskirts of town. We village spirits are behind you. If you want to be humiliated in battle, by all means, fight me. One day! Ah ha ha! I can speak loudly again. I don't feel the evil spirit anymore. Unless you bring that spirit cage too close to me. You now control a powerful spirit and have freed the good spirits of this village. Now we can watch over our families and troubled souls as you have done. Please carry that vile spirit away where it can do no more harm. Like the temple. Yes, take the cage to the Guardian there. Ah, I sense you have captured a strong spirit. With its power, you can now cross the Cursed River. The Cursed River prevents anything good from crossing it, no matter how distasteful, 
We can more easily defeat only no death with an evil spirit. The time has come. Once we cross the river, we will meet only no death himself. Our task is simple, but long in coming. We must defeat only no death and bring back the fruit of life. Meet me at the edge of the broken bridge. I'm ready when you are, wizard. This is my dungeon, wizard. No one will take it from me. No, you mustn't cross the waters. I will not help. I can't stop. No! I cannot refuse. I will help you across. Curses! Another barrier! Only no death has ruined the Tree of Life. We must enter the spirit world and challenge him there. I wish I could walk in your shoes, but your actions show that fate has chosen you alone to defeat Oni No Death. You must use the summoning candles to open a portal to the spirit world. Go now. I will see that no evil follows you. The great Muda spoke of you, and of your wish to heal the Emperor by using the fruit of life. Only no death has hidden in the spirit world and taken the portal summoning candles with him. To restore the tree of life, you must go after him. Many have asked much of you. I ask only for your fate. You must venture forth and find the bandit Nomunaga. He holds the dagger of shadows. You must take it from him. Your destiny awaits, revered wizard. Search the garden and return with the Dagger of Shadows. It must be humbling to stand in my presence. Now remove yourself or I will remove you. Nomunaga drops the Dagger of Shadows. You have reclaimed the Dagger! Thank you for your faith. Now plunge the Dagger of Shadows into the Tree of Life. Have no fear. This will do no harm to the tree. The Dagger of Shadows can open a portal into the spirit world and take you to Oni no Death. Be careful as Oni no Death is more powerful there than in this world. He will lie to strike despair into your heart. Do not listen. You have the strength to restore the Tree of Life. Go now. Use the Dagger of Shadows to open the portal to the spirit world. A portal suddenly rips open. I see through all. You are but a child full of fear. Here in the spirit world, your paltry magic has no power. Kajimusha falls back in defeat. From his body emerges a terrible creature. It is the Death Oni. Too late. The Tree of Life is already doomed. You cannot stop the tide of darkness. Surrender and know the cold hand of despair.
You have saved the tree of life, as was foretold. I sense fate has given you a great destiny, which you have yet to fulfill. It is bigger than you can imagine. Take the tree's fruit, and return it to the Emperor of this world. May the light always shine upon your path, young wizard. You have returned with the fruit of life. I admit, I thought my actions would cure his enlightened majesty from the curse placed upon him by Malastair. But a mere student from Wizard City has proven that even the High Monk can't do everything. It's never too late to learn humility or the power of faith. I'll stay here to prevent another Oni from attacking this place. Please hurry to his Imperial Majesty's side and heal him. Place his sword beside him, pour the pure water on his wounds, and feed him the fruit from the Tree of Life. I have the utmost faith that you will succeed where I failed. Fool! Do you think I would give up this shell so easily? I am not like the other Oni. You have woken me only to make me stronger. This land is mine. With the Jade Oni gone, the Emperor returns to his former self. He honors you with a deep bow. Wizard, I am in your debt. What you did to reach me, I can only imagine, but I thank you. You have saved me and Mushu. You must take the Dragonspire Spiral Key. It is no longer safe here. But wait, what about Malastair? He took the spiral key to Dragonspire. I have the Dragonspire spiral key, your Imperial Majesty. I caught up to Malister as he opened the gate. I couldn't stop him, but he had to leave the key behind. Forgive me, wizard. I failed in my duty to protect his enlightened majesty, so I clung to my duty to keep the spiral key safe. You understand? But now, as his Imperial Majesty commands, Take the spiral key with our best wishes. You have earned it. Be careful, esteemed wizard. Malastair is no ordinary enemy. I hope that your experiences on Mushu will help you in the battle to come. Though Mushu's problems are petty next to the threat Malastair presents to the Spiral, what use is saving the world if those in need go without help? You were right to aid us in our time of trouble. Please let my old friend Merle Ambrose in Wizard City know that the Spiral Key is in your hands. You will need his advice to prepare for such a strong opponent. My thanks to you again, and farewell. Although I always had to refuse his invitation to teach at Ravenwood, I am grateful Ambrose has such a talented student. Headmaster Ambrose shakes his head sadly as you relate what has happened on Mushu. Emperor Yoshihito did what he could. It's too bad he couldn't stop Malastair, but at least we have the spiral key now. Go seek Professor Drake at the Myth School. He had an odd relationship with Malastair. He may be willing to part with some advice on how to stop him. Oh, you really think you can outwit Malastair? Professor Drake peers down at you, then seems to make a decision. Well then, meet me in my tower and we'll discuss strategy. I need to know if you've any hope of surviving against my brother Malastair. The only way I can be sure is to challenge you myself. 
Stand your ground. Hmm, you're better than I thought. Maybe you have a fighting chance. Do not get overconfident, though. Malastare is extremely dangerous, far more than I was. You will need my help to defeat him. Meet me in Dragonspire. Good, you made it. We have a difficult task ahead of us. There you are, young wizard. When you opened the spiral door to Dragonspire, I took the opportunity to scry ahead. This is as close as I can come for the time being. Malastare will most certainly sense my presence should I enter Dragonspire, endangering all we hope to accomplish. Most of the gates and portals are blocked or otherwise impassable. You may now access the outer ring. From there, you must open the gate to the next ring. A library is on the other side of this portal. Go there and discover what answers you can. Oh, hello there. I don't believe I've seen a living being in quite a long time. Ah, so you wish to explore the scenic world of Dragonspire. It's a beautiful place, don't you think? What's that? Oh my, it's in ruins, I forgot. My apologies. I feel as if I just awakened from a long sleep. Most of the gates into Dragonspire have been shut down by the Dragon Titan's army, but perhaps we can find a way for you to get in. We have a saying here. When in doubt, turn to the Knowledge Crystal. The Knowledge Crystal should have the answers. It's right over there. Use it and come back when you've got your answer. The crystal starts to glow and intones the portal gates of Dragonspire. Auric Blaze Burner created the portal gates to defend Dragonspire from outside enemies. Only a portal stone can open a gate. All students and faculty of Dragonspire Academy are issued portal stones by the Stone Keeper. Oh yes, I remember now. Auric Blazeburner was quite a powerful enchanter. He made the portal gates and the portal stones to get through them. If you're looking for a portal stone, you might check Holger's old tower. It's fairly close. I haven't been there in years, but there were portal stones piled up all over the place. Who is it? Show yourself! Come closer, yes. I am but a lowly servant of the great dragon Titan. He is gone from this world. The Necromaster is not fit to lick the dragon Titan's claws, but he forces me to work from the top of the main tower. We have something in common, an enemy. You want to get into the tower, and I know how. First, we must activate the crystal atop each tower. That will open the portal to the main tower. Each tower is locked, so you must retrieve the keys. The first tower key is held by the loathsome creepers nearby. Go! Yes, that's it. But there is more, sad to say. This tower key only opens the door to the first tower. You must activate the crystal at the top to open the portal to the main tower. Go, activate the crystal inside the tower. Then, I will tell you how to reach the main tower. You activate the crystal, and it shimmers to life. 
You have done well, wizard. But we are not finished. There is more still. We have begun and are on the way to freedom, yes. The first of four towers is completed. I did not tell you it was so many because I feared you would leave me enslaved. A former <laughs> inhabitant of Dragon Spire occupies the next tower. She fears me, but would welcome you. Speak to the wizard therein and get the tower key. How did you get here? You're no member of the Dragon Titan's army, are you? You must have come for the tower key, right? I don't have it on me, but I know where it is. Unfortunately, the way there is too dangerous for me to show you. I haven't been able to go anywhere because of the monsters. Do me a favor, and I'll help you out. Please go and defeat some monsters, then return here. Then I'll tell you where the tower key might be. Thank you for your help. You've made this area a safer place. The tower key is in my desk drawer over there. Be careful out there. You find the tower key in the desk drawer. The tower key, yes. The draconian reaches for it, but you keep it from him. What did the nasty wizard say about me? Do not believe her. You are the mighty wizard. Without the Dragon Titan, I am a lowly servant of the Necromaster. I want to be free. The key is in your hands. Go, activate the crystal on top of the second tower. You activate the crystal, and it shimmers to life. See? You have all the power. I do not lie. I helps you do good. The Necromaster commands one of the wizards of this world. He has the third key. He is not so pleasant to deal with. You need to defeat him to steal the key. You're the sneaky one to have gotten this far. Now you'll wish you'd snuck away while you had the chance. See? I told you that I was your friend. That wizard, he was crazy. You has done good taking the third key. Now we can be friends, right? You has nothing to fear from me. No enemy can enter the city from outside, and the enemies here are trapped. Enter the tower and activate the crystal. Soon you shall reach the main tower and defeat the Necromaster. You activate the crystal, and it shimmers to life. Yes, I knew you would prove useful to defeat the Necromaster, of course. The last key fell from the sky, somewhere in the street, clutched by a drake. I could not look for it out of fear of the Necromaster. Search the streets by the broken tower until you find the key. We are so close. Th 
You have found the last key. Soon. Yes. You does a great deed, mighty wizard. Activate the crystal on top of the fourth tower. The great portal on the center platform opens to the main tower. Fight your way to the main office. You will get what you worked for. You activate the crystal and it shimmers to life. Stupid wizard. Should have listened to your best judgment after all. I'll remember you when I sit on the throne of Dragon Spire. You defeated him? Good show there. I'm Auric Blazeburner. I built this place. I was rooting for you, but couldn't do anything to help. Not that you needed any assistance. Ha! What a system I designed, with one fatal flaw. It kept enemies out, but for those summoned inside the city. We had all these gates, but were defenseless. If you still want a portal stone, the Stonekeeper should have one. I've been out of touch for too long. You must ask someone else where to find him. The Stonekeeper? Oh yes, the Keepers not only kept the stones, but the spirits of our greatest allies and even our worst foes. The Stonekeeper should be in the Plaza of Conquest these days. That's where we stored all the crystals and where we speak to them for guidance. Go there, he'll surely be happy to help you. The Stonekeeper was in the Plaza of Conquest just as the Titan's army reached the Outer Ring. Whatever has awakened our spirits must have woken him as well. Go speak to Laszlo Starblane in the Plaza of Conquest to find the portal stone. You, you want a portal stone, really? Yes, I am the stone keeper. You know what that means? It means I'm responsible for keeping the portal stones out of the hands of our enemies. You might have recommendations from all manner of dignitaries, but mere words are not enough to convince me. I'll need more to go on before I give you a portal stone. We have a long and distinguished history here in Dragonspire, and can't let any riffraff get access to our academy. You must demonstrate your worthiness. Go, speak with Xana Fireflower elsewhere in the Plaza of Conquests. If she gives your recommendation, we'll speak more. Stand up straight, soldier! You need a recommendation? I reserve the right to hand that out, soldier, until I see what you're capable of. Now snap to it! Attention! Now listen up, and listen well, soldier. I led our forces from my tower, but now foul beasts have overtaken our base. They're led by Sisyphan, as foul and powerful a creature as you've ever faced. Do you hear me? I will not rest until the army's threat has passed, in this and every world. Now go and secure that perimeter, and you will have your recommendation. Do you understand me, soldier? What's this? Did someone order room service? This one looks tasty. That's fine work, soldier. Here's your recommendation. You've earned it. You served your country well. Dismissed. Xana hands you a letter of recommendation. 
You've served your unit well, soldier. Now hustle over to the Stonekeeper and report for duty there. Step lively. I'm impressed by your resourcefulness. Before too long, I'll be the one saluting you. The General's recommendation is not enough to get you what you're after, not by far. I want to see a second recommendation, and not one you can get with the wave of your wand. Go, speak with Helena Warhawk. She is our Historian Laureate, the greatest historian of Dragon Spider. You'll find her within the Tower of War. I don't think anyone's interrupted my studies in years. So you want to learn about Dragon Spire, do you? Knowledge does not come easy, especially in time of war. This is the Tower of War, a place where we store our knowledge of the principles of war to help you in battle. Go down the stairs behind me. Read the stories found on the bottom floor, and those should serve as the foundation for all the rest of our knowledge. Return to me when you have grasped those foundations of our war lore. King Manet united Dragon Spire by moonlight, when Gavarina's flames inspired the most awe. Dragon Spire's power comes from the fire tree at its center, thus the center has the strongest defenses. Lion challenged the council in broad daylight. The greatest treachery occurs when the sun shines. The Council of Wizards, Warriors, and King was first formed under the light of the moon to avoid spying eyes. For flames to inspire awe, it is best to attack when this shines. Dragon Spire's power and defenses center around this. Betrayal can happen at any time, even when this shines. When you need to avoid spying eyes, Try to meet when this shines. The best war is won before the first spell is cast. Impressive! You've learned our ways better than any outsider ever has. I can rest easy knowing that our wisdom lives on in you. Tell the Stonekeeper you have my recommendation. Helena hands you a letter of recommendation. You're finished here. I'm more than satisfied with your efforts. If only my former students had shown such vigor in their studies. You should return to this Stonekeeper. I'm certain he's got more for you. Yet again, you win over one of my colleagues. If Dragon Spire Academy had a dozen students like you, this place would not lay in ruins. These statues represent Dragon Spire's greatest foes. Like a whetstone to a blade, they sharpened the skills of the warriors of Dragon Spire. We honored them with combat. You must first defeat the Grand Champion of Rydal the Indomitable. He conquered the Duchy of Sebastian and forced the Duke into rebellion. Rydal's champion made it possible. You're no match for him yet, though. You need to learn his way of combat, and for that, you need to go speak to Mavra Flamewing. So, you've come to learn the greatest of arts, the art of war. You don't look very impressive, but I'm hoping that you've got some hidden reserve of strength. I'm the master of defense here in Dragonspire. I teach the means of protection. A shield is just as much a weapon as the sword. You need to think of defensive magic as another form of attack aimed at your foe's attack. You can't rely at all on one kind of defense. A cunning enemy will switch attacks to overcome your protection. You must be quick to change tactics based on what is happening in the battle. Think of it as a game of battle ball. Your shield must always be moving to reflect back the attack. I could spend years teaching you about defense, but time is short. If you haven't grasped the basics, you're hopeless. Meet me in my tower, and we'll see what you've picked up. Don't get cocky, young wizard. You've learned the art of the attack, 
But what happens when you cannot land an attack on your opponent? Defense is the key to survival. Defend yourself. I'm impressed. You've got an instinct for saving your own hide. That's a good thing. Surviving a battle is the most important part. The master of defense is a harsh taskmaster, but if you're here now, it means you learned something. Good. You're not finished yet, though. Even the strongest warrior cannot squeeze blood from a stone, but a student who is wise can get knowledge from a statue. This statue is one of our greatest enemies, Garok Shaleheart. He and his army of Earth Elementals fought our armies to a standstill on the plain of Shattered Shields, and for that we honor him among our own. You must summon and defeat Garok's greatest champion in combat to show that you're capable of upholding the proud military tradition of Dragon Spire. Go to the crystal stand and place this crystal upon it. Concentrate for a moment. The spirit stored within it will then manifest in physical form. Excellent. He was among Garok's greatest warriors. I fought him to a standstill on the battlefield, and now you put him in his place. Though we of Dragon Spider are proud, we are not foolish. Though we prefer open and direct fights, we are not ignorant that our enemies will use magical traps to defeat us. So now, a part of the course of studies here is to learn the ways of traps. You must learn these lessons well in order to face Dronic, the Shrouded Wizard. So, you've come to learn the methods of strategic warfare. Fighting with the brain and not just your wand. I'm the master of strategy here in Dragonspire. And it's my duty to see that our students are fully versed with the means of using traps effectively in combat. Each spell you cast could be your last. So you should make them as effective as you can. A trap makes your foe take more damage. So why wouldn't you cast one? The ultimate goal of combat is to remove your foe from the field of battle. And the trap is a shortcut to that end. You've used traps before, I'm certain. But this is where you learn to use them well. Brace yourself. This might sting a little. You're a powerful young wizard. I'll grant you that. But let us see how you fare against one who spent his lifetime mastering the use of traps. You surprise me. I figured you'd fold like a piece of origami. Instead, you handled yourself like a warrior born. Take these lessons to heart. You've made it back, so apparently you've learned something. Now that you've been through strategy boot camp, it's time for your next challenge. You've yet to face our first great foe, the greatest champion of Dronic, the Shrouded Wizard's army. This very champion fought his way all the way to the throne of Dragonspire to claim it for his Lord Dranik. Show me that you will fight for Dragonspire and all it stands for. Use the skills you've been taught and defeat him. Use a crystal to summon Dranik's champion and show him what you're made of. You defeated him. I'm at a loss, actually. It took a league of Dragonspire's wizards and warriors to defeat him when he breached the throne room of Dragonspire. 
I did not think it possible that you could have done so much on your own. But now that I've seen your power, I think you are the one we've been waiting for. I hid the last purple stone in the lowermost vault of the Great Chasm during the Titan Army's assault. The Librarian should help you find your way. Once you've recovered it from there, bring it back and I'll activate it for you. You need to find something within the Great Chasm? Oh my! You might want to consider other options. It's rather dangerous, you know. Well, it's not my place to keep students from risking their lives, so I'll tell you what I know. Unfortunately, that's very little when it comes to the geography of the Great Chasm. I can tell you, however, that the last I heard, there was someone there who may be of help. Seek Belia Windgazer out within the Great Chasm. She'll help you find what you seek. Oh, hello. I really didn't expect to see anyone else here. What are you doing here so far from the Academy? I am Chief Vault Clerk Balia Windgazer. To be allowed access to the lower vault, <laughs> you'll first need to fill out a series of forms. I have the paperwork right here. Oh, the Stonekeeper sent you. <laughs> My pardon. His recommendation is enough for me. You should have no trouble reaching the lower vault. Someone rebuilt the bridges damaged by the raid, if you can believe it. Oh, sadly, the vault is sealed tight. The Vault Master had the only key on him when he died during the Titan Army's attack. I put in a requisition form for a new key, but no one has processed it. My hands are tied. Perhaps you should talk to Edric Scatterglove. He might know what to do. Hello. I can't talk right now. I've been trying to finish this for... Well, it's been quite a long time. Yes, I understand you're looking for something, but how important can it be? Compare it to my work, for example. I've discovered a crystal here that has stored different states of time. I don't mean to discourage you in your pursuit of, uh, well, whatever it is that brought you here. Fetch my research notes, and I'll see what I can do for you. They're in the nearby tower. I'd go myself, but I'm conducting some rather delicate experiments with this crystal. Mmm. New facets are forming as time passes. Fascinating. Those are the notes. Thank you for your assistance. Mmm. I feel foolish. I've studied this thing before. I remember now. I had nearly finished examining it when some blasted fool summoned the Dragon Titan. I'm so close to discovering its secrets. But I'll need some help here, and then I'll offer you my undivided attention. This crystal needs an energy source. Another crystal. Not only that, but a battery made from a specific type of pristine crystal. You can get them from the crystal crawlers that infest this area. Would you get one for me? This one's not perfect, but it will certainly do. Now what good is a power source if it doesn't have any power? The pristine crystal will do as a battery, but now it needs a charge. I would do it myself if I could, believe me. I stored a charger in one of the vaults. Just tell Chief Vault Clerk Belia Windgazer that I said it was all right. I'm sure it won't take long. You want admittance into Edric Scatterglow's vault? Normally that would require three signatures. Oh, but considering the circumstances... Here's the key to Edric Scatterglow's vault. No signature required. Get Edric Scatterglow's charger from Vault D on Floor 8. You'll have to pass a few security measures, so be careful. And please, return the key afterwards. I'm responsible for it.
that didn't take long. I suppose our security isn't as foolproof as we once thought. Go tell Edric Scatterglow that you found the charger. That's it. That battery is ready for use. I can't tell you how long I've waited for this. Please, young wizard, put the charge crystal into the mechanism. Don't worry, this is science. What could possibly go wrong? The crystal shimmers and begins displaying images from past, present, and future, all colliding together. A portal seems to form in the center. It's... it's amazing! I can see fragments of the past and the future, all at once arrayed with crystal precision. What a sight! I never could have accomplished this without you. Speaking of time, it's certainly time for me to help you. So, what can I do for you? You'll need the Vault Keeper to give you a portal stone, is that it? Mm, I'm afraid you're out of luck. The Vault Keeper is long dead. Perhaps if you'd come here much, much earlier... Wait a moment. I've got it! This mysterious time crystal might just be able to send you back in time, before the Vault Keeper died. You could ask him for the key yourself. Of course it sounds crazy, but do you have a better idea? Then think of the Vault Keeper and touch the crystal. The crystal should also bring you back. What are you doing? Why aren't you in hiding? Aren't you aware the Dragon Titan is attacking? His army is tearing Dragon Spire apart! Don't just stand around here. Get useful. Help me seal the vaults. If we don't, they'll loot our treasures and we'll have nothing left. Take these keys and lock the vaults. Wait, you'll need to repair the breaches in order to reach them. I'll try to find help. That's a start. We've got the chance now. It looks like the bridge will hold, but we're not out of the cauldron yet. Meet me down at the last vault. The Titan army is coming! You made it! Maybe we have a... Lords of Light! Hold back that creature while I lock the final vault! Thank you. There's something strange about you. You're not from here, are you? Please, take this vault key away from the city. I must stay to keep the army from the vaults. You're back. Have you found the key? Oh my goodness. You got the vault key. Please, I don't want to know how you came across it. Our rules may seem foolish and complex to you, but they've protected us for years. Head down to Vault 1933 for that portal stone. I'm certain that the stone will be safe in your hands. Who dares trespass in this place? I cannot allow any to enter this vault. You will not leave here alive. Wait, I know you. You helped me save the portal stone. If you need the stone now, then it must be for good reason. Take the portal stone to the end of the street. 
you should be able to enter the next ring of Dragonspire. Go, with my blessings. You've got what you came for, then. Thank you so much for your assistance. Your timing was perfect. Now that you've got a portal stone, you need to take it to the Stonekeeper in the Plaza of Conquests. Oh, I wish you the best in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Good work. You found yourself a portal stone. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Now that you have acquired a portal stone, it must be attuned to you. This is an easy enough process and takes little time. Go to the giant crystal in the center of this room and place your portal stone against it. This will attune you to the portal stone. You hold the portal stone against the giant crystal and feel it become attuned to you. It tickles a little bit. Congratulations! You now have a portal stone and can travel to the necropolis as you choose. With that portal stone, you can now go through the Grand Gate and into the Ring of Battle. Proceed up the road to the necropolis. Excellent work. You've gained access to the next ring. Events are proceeding as planned. I have... Interesting news. My brother cared deeply for his wife, Sylvia Drake, so much so that he brought her body with him to Dragonspire and entombed her within the Necropolis. You must venture forth to the Necropolis and find her remains. The path of the hero is not as glamorous as you thought, hmm? Take this knowledge crystal. Find her tomb and use the crystal there. It will store her spirit within. Then, you must return the crystal to me, and I will take the necessary next steps. Malister, is that you? Have you come for me? It's so cold here, so dark, and I'm so alone. You're not my Malister. What have you done to him? I won't harm him! You'll never get me to betray my beloved husband! You capture Sylvia's spirit within the Knowledge Crystal. As you trap her spirit, a strange badge falls to the ground. Her wraith-like form takes on solidity and color. Soon, Sylvia Drake appears as she did while alive. A wraith? I... I'm shocked! I could never imagine you would do that to her! Though Cyrus seems almost at a loss for words, he quickly takes the knowledge crystal from you. This was not my preferred choice, but it may yet prove useful. You've done well. You found a badge when you trapped her spirit? Ah, this explains a few things. Here, let me see that badge. Cyrus whispers a spell and passes his wand over the badge, then hands it back to you. Now the ring facility should function normally for you. I've discovered something more significant about Dragonspire. Within the innermost ring is an academy, and only students of the Dragonspire Academy may enter that ring. Go now to the Necropolis and see if you can discover a means of becoming a student of Dragonspire Academy. Think of it as a student exchange. Welcome to Dragonspire Academy. I see you wear the prospective badge. Congratulations for taking the first steps to become a student at Dragonspire Academy. To begin your trial of admittance to the innermost ring, you should visit the Dragon Master in the hatchery and learn all that you can about Drakes. Who are you? You're clearly not part of the Titan army. 
Oh, you're still here? Hmm. You probably want to get powerful in a hurry, just like the others. Well, guess what? The Titan army destroyed everything and took all the books about the ways of the Drake. I can't teach you much without my books, can I? If only some of them still existed. How about this? If you go and defeat the Titan army, you can recover those stolen books, bring them back, and I'll teach you the ways of the Drake. It looks like you found some of the books. Apparently the Titan army isn't as tough as they seemed. You didn't get all of the books, though. These only cover the behavior and temperament of drakes. Dragons are violent and dangerous, and drakes will be friendly if treated well. Everyone knows that. You're still eager to learn? Hmm, you've certainly nothing like my past students. If only we had more books. Wait a moment. I have an idea. Throughout the hatchery are statues of the greatest drakes from our history. Go to see each of the drake statues and read the inscriptions on the pedestals. These tell about their history. You can come back and tell me what you've learned. Gavarina was often called the first drake. She accepted Mene as her rider, and together they founded the Kingdom of Dragonspire. Lenith the Great's victory in the Outer Ring ended the 100-year Dragon War and brought peace to Dragonspire. Eliana earned renown when she held off an entire legion alone and helped unseat Aldered the Usurper. You learned about them all? Excellent! Many who wish to become dragon riders fail to recognize they can do nothing without the drakes. So, you've learned some things. But don't think you know everything. You haven't even learned about the dragon riders. Tomar Skyblade once lived in a tower just down the way, not far from here. Go to the tower and see if you can learn more about him there. Student? I suppose you're here to learn about becoming a dragon rider. Ah, the glory and the power of riding a drake. There's nothing like it. The wind rushing past your face, the rustle of wings, and the wash of heat when they breathe fire. Always guide your drake with a firm hand, but remember always that you are partners. Don't let it go to your head. What? He actually spoke with you? Well, I... I am amazed. He's never had a word to say to me. I suppose, since Tomar Skyblade actually spoke with you, it makes sense you'll want to speak with his drake. The Dragon Master sighs dramatically, but you can tell he's excited. The spirit of Kimrith Windhammer, Tomar Skyblade's Drake, still lives on, imbued within a crystal inside another tower nearby. Go seek him out and hurry back with what you have learned. Hello, young wizard. No one has spoken with me in a very long time. I fought in many great battles with Dragon Rider Skyblade. Nothing from those times but dim memories remain. You spoke with Tomar. I have not seen him in so long. If you could, go and ask him for my reins. Having those once more would bring back the good old days. Kimmerit Windhammer wants his reins. A bit odd, but understandable. 
Unfortunately, I no longer have them. Perhaps the Dragon Master knows where they are kept now. Dragon Rider Skyblade and Kimrath the Drake both want my help? How can I refuse? Before the attack, we kept the Drake's reins in a museum. If the reins survived, the Collector would have taken them. You really want to pass Drake's studies? Defeat the Collector and bring me those reins. them those reins should go to Kimmereth Windhammer now what are you waiting for go take them to the Drake my reins you have found them thank you ever so greatly I am pleased to see those old reins as they bring back so many memories of flying with Skyblade. Now if you could, I would like to see Skyblade himself. Please take my crystal to his tower so I can see him again. Dragon Rider Skyblade. It is Kimmerith Windhammer, here in this crystal. I brought your old reins. My thanks to this young wizard who made it possible. Well met, Kimmerith Windhammer! Ah, it has been too long, a and I have missed you greatly. Y you see, young wizard, it is never quite clear who holds the reins when you are a dragon rider. Thank you for reuniting me with my oldest, dearest friend, Kimrith. You reunited them? That's amazing! You are truly a great friend to the Dragon Riders. My thanks to you. I had forgotten what it was like to have a good student, to feel like a teacher again. Tell the Crystal Guide that I hereby give you a passing grade with honors in Drake Studies. Passing grade confirmed. Excellent work. Next, you must complete a course in Dragonspire history to gain acceptance into the Academy. Please report to Zanetta Stormbreaker in the Crucible to begin your lessons. Vagabond! Be gone at once! Oh, my pardon! You're not here to defile the knowledge crystals! You're a prospective student! Oh, hurrah! The joy of learning is born anew! It is a pity I have nothing to teach you, Will. The crystals of knowledge have been vandalized by the Titan army! Uh, perhaps there is a way. Ha! <laughs> Here's your first test, then. A field trip. Defeat the Maniscale Sorcerers and bring back the knowledge crystals they've taken. We'll see how brave you are. Wonderful! Oh, you're quite brave, you know. I've rarely seen such dedication in a student. Now we can begin your education in earnest. Long ago, the scholars of Dragonspire learned the art of storing their knowledge within crystals. These crystals form our libraries and represent the total of all of our stored knowledge. You are quite privileged to have access to them, young wizard. For your first lesson, you should learn the history of Dragonspire. Place a knowledge crystal on the crystal pedestal to hear its words. The crystal flickers to bright life. Dragonspire first grew powerful when King Manet tamed the first drake. 
It later became a place of knowledge with the creation of the first knowledge crystal. Kilgore the Magnificent ended the Hundred Year Dragon War by defeating a mighty black dragon. The secret of how he did this was lost to time. Since that time, Dragon Spire has preserved the knowledge and souls of our greatest heroes in eternal crystal. Excellent! You have learned the importance of knowledge crystals to Dragon Spire. However, you have only scratched the surface of true power. You've proven yourself worthy of learning our traditions. Our culture is based on knowledge and warfare. The nobles of Dragonspire sent their children to this academy to become soldiers and sorcerers. Because we are a warlike people, our education requires trial by combat. To complete the next lesson, you must succeed in battle against five of the spirits of our ancestors. To begin the first of these combats, you must retrieve the Crystal of Justice from the shell. Place it on the first pedestal to issue your battle challenge. You retrieve the Crystal of Justice. I am Iona Pyrelance. I battled my way past the guards of King Betren and won the knowledge crystals that saved my world. Because of me, many have learned the knowledge once reserved for kings. Show me, students, whether you will fight for knowledge. You have proven you are willing to fight for knowledge. If only the professors of Dragonspire had learned this lesson. What? Iona said that the Dragonspire professors had something to learn. She must have meant someone else, right? Hmm. Let's see if you truly appreciate what I have to offer you. The Crystal of Battle was taken by Orin Grimcaster during the raids. I fought to retrieve it from Orin Grimcaster's tower nearby, but the Titan itself stopped me. You should have an easy time of things. Show your true strength as a warrior and recover the Crystal of Battle from Grimcaster. You have made a terrible mistake coming here, living one. These crystals are mine to treasure, mine to keep. You get my crystal when you pry it out of my cold, undead hands. You retrieve the crystal of battle. You've recovered it! You've done quite well for yourself, but I have my doubts you'll be able to master the Crystal of Battle. You have mastered it. Place the Crystal of Battle on the pedestal, and we'll see where you stand. I am Katya Firewinter. I battled Eldred the Usurper when he used the power of the Knowledge Crystals to unseat the King. I formed the Council of Wizards, Warriors, and King to prevent anyone who was unworthy from using the Crystals again. Unfortunately, this proved to be our undoing. Nevertheless, the old lesson must continue. Battle me, students, to pass my test. You have fought bravely. You are the one we feared would come. The one we need to set things right. What madness is this? Who would need the power of a student? That is crazy. Perhaps the Titan army has tampered with the crystal. Do not worry this time about the Titan army's tampering, young wizard. 
We are fortunate in that the next crystal has remained safely in storage. Go find the Crystal of Honor where it's stored, place it on the third pedestal, and begin your third lesson. You retrieve the Crystal of Honor. I am Valeric Brightsword. I defeated the Council Wizard Kildare. He had been corrupted by the Aldaric Crystal. That crystal contained the Usurper's soul. Prove to me that you are above the influence of liars and leaders. Defeat me in fair battle to pass this lesson. You show admirable promise as a student. One of our students warned us about the Aldaric Crystal. But we did not listen. Sadly, we learned nothing from that mistake. Valeric Brightsword thought his mistake was that he should have listened to a student. <laughs> but how would a student know anything of use? I've never seen the souls within the crystal say such things, but I know the crystal of defense is untouched, since I have kept it close to me. Only the most elite students have ever seen it. Place it on the fourth pedestal and pass the test. I am placing my trust in you. I am Rorik Flame Soul. I defeated Challenger Lion in an open duel in front of the Council of Wizards, Warriors, and King. I was the only wizard ever to defeat a warrior in straight combat. Pass my test, and you can defend yourself against anyone. Our duel proves you've learned much in your time here. My fellow wizards learned only to fear threats to their power, and so they doomed Dragonspire. You have fought well. Clearly, the spirits of our heroes wish to teach you something I have never learned. I don't know what the spirits want to say to you, but I have come to the realization that I shouldn't underestimate you just because you're a student. Let me help you complete the final lesson. I saw the rage destroy the last knowledge crystal, but I have a solution. We create a new one. You will need an empty knowledge crystal from the vault in the Grand Chasm. The vault clerk will help you find one. Return to me when you have it. Ah, young wizard. Nice to see you. You need an empty knowledge crystal? According to my records, <laughs> such as they are, you can find one in vaults here in Grand Chasm. Take this key. And be careful. I don't know what is down there these days. You found the crystal we need. An empty knowledge crystal won't do as much good without a spirit store inside it. I know just the spirit. One of our greatest heroes died during the Great Raid, and we buried him within the necropolis. His name was Boris Blackrock, the Lord Obsidian. Though he fought like none other could against the Titan, he was one of the first to fall. We were able to give Boris Blackrock a hero's burial in the necropolis before the war ended, and we gave him the title of Lord Obsidian. I am certain he will want to help us again. Go to the necropolis, and use the empty knowledge crystal on the tomb of Lord Obsidian, where Boris Blackrock is buried. His spirit will live on within the crystal, and he will guide us. A tendril of light moves within the crystal, as it is imbued with the spirit of Lord Obsidian. Incredible! 
few students have ever imbued a knowledge crystal, and you did it with so little coaching. Now we have our crystal of the hero. Are you ready? You will now face Boris Blackrock, the Lord Obsidian, our greatest hero from the battle with the Titan army. No student of Dragonspire has ever undertaken this lesson. Go now and place the crystal of the hero upon the last pedestal. I am Boris Blackrock, the Obsidian Golem. The Council trained me to defend the wizard's knowledge from the warriors. When the wizard summoned the Titan, I alone had the knowledge to fight it. I met it in battle, and though I fought bravely and with great skill, it was not enough. My body was destroyed. When I fell, so did Dragonspire. Defeat me, and you show yourself to be Dragonspire's greatest hero. have I learned a more profound lesson than my student. But that is just what has happened. You have opened my eyes to my past mistakes and shown me the truth. I am eternally grateful to you, young wizard. You have learned and accomplished a great deal, more than I could have ever imagined an outsider accomplishing. I hereby grant you the highest passing grade, which provides you with full membership in the Dragon Spire Academy. It is our custom that the Dean of Admissions will present a new student with an Academy Portal Stone. Go see if you can find such a stone within the Dean's Tower. Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, of course. You must be looking for the Dean. You won't find him here, though. I'm the Dean's assistant, and I am embarrassed to admit that I have no idea where he's gone. Come to think of it, he's been gone for quite some time. Maybe the librarian knows where he is. You're actually looking for the Dean of Admissions? Oh, dear. It seems that no one has told you this sad news. Getting to see the Dean of Admissions is next to impossible, I'm afraid. You see, he was directly involved with summoning the Dragon Titan that destroyed Dragonspire. After he had the professors kidnapped and began the summoning ritual, we stopped him and placed him in the labyrinth. That was before the attack began. Now there's not much more harm he can do, so you're free to go see him in the labyrinth if you like. I was responsible for keeping the labyrinth key, so here you go. Milos hands you the key to the labyrinth. Good luck getting that portal stone. You've come here for the Dean? I wouldn't worry about him anymore. He's taken care of. It's his accomplices I'm worried about. When he turned bad, the Dean set loose some of the criminals imprisoned here. You seem a brave youngster, or a wizard. Why don't you help me out and put those criminals to rest? First, you'll need to get across the bridge. After the raid, the key to the bridge was left somewhere in one of those houses over there. This key is my duty. To guard it, I was made. The key must not be taken. I guard it with all my being. That looks like the right key. Now use the bridge key on that pedestal. The mechanism inside 
We'll raise the bridge and you can cross it easy enough. On the other side, see if you can find and defeat three escaped conspirators for me. That would help restore some order to this place. Excellent work. It sounds like they've learned from their mistake. Such a pity that Dragonspire had to pay for it. I'm not so sure if I should let you see the Dean. When we rounded him up, he had no regrets about what he'd done. He's either cold-blooded or just plain crazy. No good will come from talking to him. You've earned the right to speak with him, though. So here's the key. Use it on the center pedestal to raise the bridge to his cell. Just watch out for that one. He's tricky, and as nasty as they come. Hello there, young wizard. I don't get many guests here. As a point of fact, I get no visitors, not a single living soul. So believe me when I say I'm pleased to see you. What brings you here? Let me guess. You want me to admit you to Dragonspire Academy, correct? There should be no troubles there. They threw me in jail, but they never fired me. Excellent, then. Since the Titan's army destroyed Dragonspire, student enrollment is down. We can use the fresh blood. If I'm to help you, then you must do something for me. Just a little mercy for an old man in this cold dungeon cell. Please go to the tower outside and retrieve my cloak. During the circumstances leading up to my arrest, it ended up atop the tower outside. You cannot have these things, I guard. You must destroy me to take them. Your first day, and you get the highest marks in show and tell. I'm most grateful for this cloak. It keeps the chill away. I'm afraid my demands haven't been entirely met. In addition to the restoration of my cloak, I'd like my old staff back. I require it to admit you into this school. My staff was taken by a guard who now patrols deep in the detention center. Take this. It should get you through his gate. The Dean passes a small key to you. What's that? You don't want to help me? I suspect what you're up to is far more important than any punishment they're inflicting on me. So tell me, young wizard, how badly do you want admission into Dragonspire Academy and the portal stone that comes with it? If you wish it, you'll do as I say. Well, my young friend, you've returned my staff to me. It looks a bit worse for wear, but should be functional still. I am without the third of my badges of office. 
You have provided my cloak, my staff, and now I need the battle crystal. It's being stored in detention for safekeeping. Could you return it to me? You're understandably reluctant about so arming me, but let me put your mind at ease. I have a portal stone and can escape at any time. I will give you that stone if you restore my belongings to me. So, to detention with you and don't come back without my battle crystal. You've done it! With my cloak, staff, and battle crystal, I feel like the Dean of Admissions once more. Mine is the power to decide who becomes a student. And with that, I'm afraid that I will have to deny your application into Dragonspire Academy. My condolences, young wizard. Unfortunately, you won't be getting that portal stone either. It's only appropriate to end your application with your defeat. This is only the start. My name will echo throughout this spiral as the one who destroyed it. And you, you were my unwitting accomplice. Eh, you're better than I thought you'd be. I'm sorry for deceiving you, but I couldn't remain in there for another day. When you came to see me, I saw a way out. But to do so, I needed to provoke you into a duel. You have more than earned membership in the Academy. The portal stone is yours. Perhaps you will undo the doom I brought upon this place. Now in defeat, I am free to leave this place and go on to face my ultimate destination. I wonder what awaits me. You find a Dragonspire Academy portal stone hidden among the Dean's possessions. Congratulations on your admission to Dragonspire Academy. Talk to the Headmaster. Please follow the road through the Crucible into the main Academy Square. Go through the large double doors emblazoned with dragons. You will need to enroll in one of the Academy's schools to begin your studies. Enjoy your time here at Dragonspire. Excellent work. You continue to exceed my expectations. You've become a student of Dragonspire. I wouldn't worry about the Dean anymore. He's no longer important in the grand scheme of things. I'm sure you've guessed what Malister hopes to accomplish. Since he could not bring Sylvia back to life, he hopes the Croconomicon can force the Titan to do so. By the look of Dragonspire, it appears that no one can force a Titan to do anything. This is most excellent news indeed. We are now one step closer to my brother Malister. From what I can determine, though most of the actual schools were destroyed during the raid, it appears that the Fire School still stands. Apparently, the Great Dragon Titan was somewhat merciful towards his own school. We must make it seem as if you're enrolled in their Fire School. An old Dragonspire Pyromancer is buried within the Necropolis. Go there and retrieve his Medallion of Fire. A new student. Dragon Spire is shattered. School closed forever. This is no place for the living. The Medallion of Fire falls to the ground. Excellent work, young wizard. This will do nicely. You should now proceed and speak with the Fire Tree here. Her name is Ashley, and she will guide you along your path into Dragonspire Academy. 
Now you may enter the Fire School, and perhaps even more areas of the Dragon Spire Academy. See if you may determine how to reach the Headmaster's quarters in the Academy. If you should encounter my brother Malastare Drake, be cautious. You cannot stand against him alone. Hello there. Who are you? A living student. You're here to help? Oh, thank the great tree. The wizard Malastare has come to Dragonspire. He intends to command the Dragon Titan. He must be stopped. Malastare is in the Headmaster's office, atop the Great Volcano. He's nearly impossible to reach, unless you can find a way to fly up to him. I've got an idea. You can get to him by flying a drake to the mouth of the Great Volcano. But how to do that? There are so few drakes left, and they're difficult to control. Oh, I know. If you can get your hands on a Dragon Rider staff, even you could control a drake. The last known Dragon Rider staff was broken into pieces, stored in obsidian chests, and hidden throughout the spiral for safekeeping. You need to find those chests and recover those pieces from where they're scattered across the spiral. You find a piece of the Dragon Rider staff. You find a piece of the Dragon Rider staff. You find a piece of the Dragon Rider staff. You find a piece of the Dragon Rider staff. I can't believe it, but you actually found them all. It was surely a lot of work visiting all the worlds of the spiral. But if you don't stop Malastare, those worlds will all perish. We're not finished yet, I'm afraid. A Dragon Rider staff is incomplete without a flawless raw crystal for its head. That crystal will bind together all of the pieces and make it strong. Go into the crystal grove and see if you can find one there. There was an old miner there long ago who worked the grove. Check his house to see if he had one. Hello there, young wizard. Hey there, you. What are you doing here? Another wizard in the grove, hmm? I thought I sprayed for those. I reckon you're after a flawless raw crystal, right? Yeah, get in line. Them's the rarest kind of all, and I've got none to spare. Sorry. Been so long since I talked to anyone, I forgot my manners. <laughs> my apologies. Tell you what. I'll do what I can to help you. It's clear to me that you're needing one for something important. I'll need sample crystals from each of the elevated dig points. Those will help us figure out where the best crystals can be found. You remove a sample of crystal. You finished? Good job with those. With all that dust you're covered in, you look like a regular miner now. Let me see those samples. I took a look at them, and I'm sad to say these crystals ain't flawless. Told you they're hard to find. We're not out of options. Don't worry yet. You're gonna have to go to the other mining site and check there. 
Bring back some sample crystals from that other site in the crystal grove. You remove a sample of crystal. Let me see those samples. Well, look here. You found yourself a flawless raw crystal. <laughs> Good job. You could make a living at this if you want to quit wizarding. By the looks of you, I would guess you're looking to use this crystal to make a dragon rider staff so you can ride a drake. Am I right? I've helped more than my share of dragon riders make their staff, so you came to the right guy. Now that you got that crystal, you're gonna need to cut it into a headpiece. Trouble is, that I can't help you with. You're gonna need some expert guidance to cut that crystal. And for that, you need to go talk to the crystal cutter. She lives in the tower down the way. I know. It's ironic. A crystal cutter trapped in a web of crystal. <laughs> Thank you so much for freeing me. So, you want to make a head for your dragon rider staff. I assume you've come to me for that reason? Not too many other reasons to visit this place. It's too hectic around here, so... There are just too many spiders around here to get anything done. We need peace and quiet. Clear some of those crystal spiders out of the area, and I'll help you carve your crystal. done quite a bit, but it's clear that there are just too many crystal spiders around here. We can't take the chance of a spider barging in on us while we're cutting the head of the staff. How about if we work somewhere else? Meet me back at the house in the first crystal grove. There you are! Thanks again for getting me out of trouble back there. So, about that crystal you need cut. I can do it here, but I'll have to rough it. That means I'll need your help getting set up. I'll need a few odds and ends that I just can't do without. First off, I need some crystal spinnerets. Spiders use those to create and mold crystal. The bad news is, that they're not going to just hand them to you. You've got some good ones there. These will do nicely. I'm afraid I still can't start. I'm going to need my tools. The good news is that they're easy to find. The bad news is that the Titan army was going to take them away and pack them up in crates. The Titan army got chased away by the crystal spiders, so those crates are scattered everywhere throughout the crystal grove. That's all of them! Do you need a job? I could use an assistant. Now that you've gotten me my tools, I'm going to need my jewel crafter's table. It's essential to my work. I'm afraid it's not going to be easy. Cronius of the Titan Army took it back to his tower. You're going to have to go there and bring it back. They said all the humans were slain. I welcome this distraction. It has been too long. 
since I have destroyed a wizard. Wow, you got it! And without a scratch. Now I can get to work. Now that you've gotten me everything I need, I'll create for you the best crystal head for your staff I've ever made. You've done so much for me. It's an honor to make this for you. As you watch, she carves the flawless raw crystal into an exquisite dragon-shaped head for your dragon rider staff. The light scatters as it shines through the crystal, and it scintillates with power and majesty. Here you go. Now you need to reassemble the staff. For that, you'll need to take it to Ashley, the fire tree. Hello there. I seen something in your possession. You're carrying the pieces of the last Dragon Rider staff. Now that you've gotten all the pieces of the staff and a new crystal head, you can create your own Dragon Rider staff. Go inside the Pyromancy School. In there, you can use the Fire Forge to assemble the pieces of the staff and forge your own Dragon Rider staff. On the hot metal of the fire forge, you assemble the staff. You then attach the crystal head to the staff. You've done it! That's the finest dragon rider staff I've ever seen, to be certain. I can't believe that another dragon rider has risen from the academy, especially an outsider like you. With that staff, all you need now is a drake to ride. The Dragon Master down at the hatchery may be able to help you if he can. Please, go speak with him. It's good to see you again. I see that much has changed about you. You've got a Dragon Rider staff. I can hardly believe it. We must find you a drake, at once! The mother drake still watches over the hatchery. Even after all this time, she'll know if there are any drake eggs left. Welcome to the hatchery. I suspect I know why you're here. Many have come to this place, seeking my children. But you are the first in so long a time. I have secured my clutch of eggs within the house, further within the hatchery. I can sense that only a few remain, though I do not know where they rest. If you would become a dragon rider, go there and find one of the last few drake eggs. You have obviously come for the egg, but you will not get it from me! The time of the Dragon Riders is over. Never again will Wing touch Sky. You find a Drake egg. You found one. It is a sacred trust you hold there. In that egg, you hold the drake's life. Once, others would have dealt with hatching it. But now, the duty has fallen to you alone. So listen to my counsel, and you will soon have a fine drake to ride. First, the egg must be warmed in the purest fire. But Dragonspire's flames have all fallen cold. And now the only pure fire in the spiral is to be found in Wizard City. Go now to the cave near the Gollum Tower.
You warm the egg in the pure fires. Even now I can feel the baby drake stirring inside, warming to life. A drake's egg is hard and tough and cannot be easily broken. For this, we must aid the young drake. To this end, those in the hatchery use a sacred crystal hammer to crack the drake eggshell so the drakeling can break through. This hammer was taken by the gallium juggernaut. Go and find it, and take from it the crystal hammer we require. You have recovered for us the sacred crystal hammer. The hatching must take place on the center platform, but that place is now guarded by the forces of darkness. The renegade, Victor Snowcrusher, taints it with his presence. Go, wizardling, and face the one who keeps you from your sacred duty to hatch a new drake. When Snowcrusher is defeated, place the drake egg upon the central platform and use the crystal hammer on it. You use the hammer. Thank you. I am pleased to meet you. You have hatched a drake egg. Brought new life to this quiet, cold place. Congratulations, young wizard. And my eternal gratitude. Though I birthed the egg, and you hatched it, the young drake must now learn our ways from all of the mother drakes. It is the tradition of our kind that our wisest mothers guide us from birth. Go and speak with the two other mother drakes in the hatchery. They will impart upon you valuable words of wisdom to teach your new drake. Too long have the lessons I teach been unheard. I tell you then, to heed these words, for they are to be honored. A drake flies swift and true, and without doubt. Fear is the cold enemy. A drake's heart burns fierce and bright. Take these words of wisdom to the new drake. As is our tradition, tell the young drake these words of wisdom. Honor is the wind upon which we ride. Without honor, we cannot soar. To lose honor is to plummet to the earth. Take these words back to the drake's mother, and then to the new drake itself. And now I speak the final words of wisdom. Those that apply to both Dragon Rider and Young Drake. The bond you share is for life, though your paths may split and you may be worlds apart. From the Rider, the Drake takes compassion, and from the Drake, the Dragon Rider takes a spark of fire for warmth in dark times. You have done well and brought joy to this place. We have other lessons to teach the new Drake. Go now to speak to the Dragon Master. He can help you now. You again? What news do you bring? What? You hatched an egg? I never dared to dream so. The young Drake cannot fight, not yet. Its scales have not hardened. It must have armor and learn the fighting ways of dragon kind. The spirit of the Drake Smith can help us, if it can be found. Go to the forum and see if he can be raised. The young Drake cannot fight. The spirit of the Drake Smith can help us, if it can be found. 
Go to the forum and see if he can be raised. Who are you? Can you not leave me to my sorrows in this place of ruin? Hmm. You're not from the Titan army, are you? What's that? You carry a dragon rider's staff? I can smell drakes on you. You've just helped the new drake hatch? I'm honored to meet you. If you want to become a dragon rider, you must understand our traditions and our methods. It is no small thing to control a drake in combat. Go to the first room of the forum and read the great tome of Dragon Rider history. You read the great tome of Dragon Rider history. It is a huge book, full of the stories of epic battles, the heroes of the Dragon Riders and their mighty drakes. Excellent. You now bear with you the weight of our greatest prize, our history. Don't think that your studies are done, young Dragon Rider. There are far more lessons to be learned before we would dare let you ride a drake. Go into the second room of the forum and read the second knowledge crystal, the one called the care and feeding of Dragonkind. You read The Care and Feeding of Dragonkind, a comprehensive guide to all you would need to know to keep your drake healthy and well. Excellent! No matter how much time you spend with your drake, it is essential to know how to care for it. The third knowledge crystal you must read is the most important will explain how to guide your drake into battle. You will learn how to stay in the saddle and how to avoid falling to your doom. The crystal is called the Fundamentals of Dragon Riding. This knowledge crystal is kept in the third room of the amphitheater. Go now and read it, and when you're finished, you will be ready to take wing. The knowledge crystal is nowhere to be found. The crystal is missing? Are you certain? That is unfortunate. Lessons contained within are essential for dragon riding. I suspect I know where the knowledge crystal has gone. Crasis came to the forum some time ago, attempting to learn our ways. We granted him access to our knowledge crystals, including the fundamentals of dragon riding, but he was instructed not to remove them from the forum grounds. Crasis may still be around. If you can find him, force him to surrender that knowledge crystal. These crystals belongs to Crisis. Secrets of dragon riding are mine to use. Again, you surprise me with your dedication. Thank you for recovering this knowledge crystal from the thief who took it. Now that you've recovered the fundamentals of dragon riding, please return it to the pedestal in the third room of the amphitheater. With the knowledge crystal returned to its rightful place, it's time to read. You read The Fundamentals of Dragon Riding, 
a step-by-step -step guide to mounting, riding, and guiding your drake. It is a big book and covers a lot of ground, but there are helpful diagrams and lots of examples. You've now learned all of the stored knowledge there is about dragon riding. I'll bet you can't wait to actually get into the saddle. We've spent enough time dwelling on the past. Now that you know history, it's time to make a new future. We must forge armor for your new drake. The first step is to relight the forge. Cold all these years. To light it, we need fuel and flame. For fuel, you must defeat Fangtooth Lava Spinners and take from them their coal hearts. The flame must come from the flame sacks of burning flame wings. surely come from a long line of warriors. These will do nicely. Let us get to work. This is a great day indeed to see this cold forge lit hot once more. Place the coal hearts and the flame sacks within the forge so that it will heat enough for us to make your drake's armor. You place the coal hearts and flame sacks into the forge. That's how to do it. Now, ignite the forge, and it'll begin to heat up. You ignite the forge. It burns brightly and gets very hot. I'm proud to see that forge burning once more. Careful not to touch it. It'll burn you. Now that the forge is burning bright, you'll need metal to make the armor with. Unfortunately, all of the metal we had here was stolen by the Draconians. They took our metal, tried to make armor after our fashion, but it is a poor imitation. You must go defeat some Draconians and take from them their armor. Oh, that we might melt it down and forge new Drake armor. From the looks of this armor, you gave those Draconians quite the threshing. Good work. I've examined the inferior armor the Draconians made, and I see why it isn't as tough as proper Drake armor. They forgot to use brimstone in the process of armor forging, and as a result, their armor isn't resistant to fire. I think you know what comes next. I need you to go and find us some brimstone. Don't worry, young wizard. You don't have to defeat anyone. Just gather it where it may have collected on the walls or ground. Sorry you had to get your hands dirty with that. They're almost ready. Now, if we can smelt the base metal, we will use to forge your drake's armor. Go ahead and add the brimstone and those pieces of draconian armor to the forge. Be careful not to splash yourself with any molten metal. It will leave a nasty burn. Carefully, 
you add the pieces of draconian armor and the brimstone to the forge. The metal begins to melt. You're doing well. I didn't know better. I think you were a blacksmith, not a wizard. I will now forge the armor from the elements you have provided. This armor will be strong and will protect your drake from harm. It is best that you leave this place while I work, as the secrets of drake smithing cannot be shared. There is one last service you can perform for me. The helmet must be lined with the scales of a father drake. The Draconians speak fearfully of our Father Drake, holding out in the lowest reaches of the dungeon. You must go there at once. There are many Draconians who will bar the way. When you reach the Father Drake, ask him for his loose scales to make a new set of Drake armor. He should give you them without pause. You fought bravely to have reached me in this place. Many Draconians stood between here and the Academy. You wish for my scales, for a new suit of Drake armor. I am most pleased to give these to you. Ride with glory and honor. The Father Drake gives you several of his loose scales, more than you need. That's plenty. Father Drake must have liked you, to have given you so many. Let me see here. He attaches the Father Drake scales inside the helmet of the Drake armor. I'm finished now. This is the finest suit of Drake armor I have ever made. The armor is forged. No armor has had such a story of courage before it was even born. Take it now to the Mother Drake in the hatchery, so that she might armor the new Drake in such fine protection. The armor. Is it ready now? You give the Mother Drake the armor. She looks at it appreciatively. This is the finest suit of Drake armor I've yet seen. It is only fitting for so great a task. The newborn Drake has been made ready for you now. There is one launching pad left in the Academy, and once armored, he will take wing and meet you there. Go and speak with Ashley, the Fire Tree. She will provide the last bit of guidance. Good luck, young Dragon Rider. All our hopes go with you. It's unbelievable! A new Drake has arrived at the last landing platform! I'm so excited! Are you ready to face Malastair? All that's left to do is to go to the landing platform and ride your Drake up to the entrance of the Great Volcano. If you have any friends you can summon to aid you, you will need them. Once there, you can make your way up to the Headmaster's office. Malastair should be there. He'll see you coming, so you will need to be on guard. I'm so afraid. I can't believe it, but a chill just ran down my branches. Go and face Malastair. Be the hero you've shown us you are. The Drake Mothers tell me how much you've done to help me. I owe you a life debt for that service. Though I can't leave Dragonspire, I will always be your friend and ally. Unfortunately, time is short and you have much to do. I will take you where you must go. Hop on my back! You mount the drake with a leathery snap. It spreads its wings and takes flight.
Here you are. All of our hopes go with you. Malastare, this is Cyrus, your brother. Stop this madness at once. The Dragon Titan will no more serve you than he did the Lords of Dragonspire. Sylvia, your wife, she's gone. There is no power in the spiral that can bring her back. Certainly not this. My brother, Cyrus. You have apparently lost your faith in my abilities. How unfortunate. And how blind of you. The Lords of Dragonspire lacked the will to command the Dragon Titan. I am far stronger than they were. I am the Master of Death! The Dragon Titan will do as I command. I will order it to return my wife Sylvia to life so that she might rule at my side. Cyrus holds up the Knowledge Crystal, storing Sylvia Drake's memories. I can see that in your madness there is no listening to reason. But perhaps you will listen to the sound of your own heart. Malastair, please. It's me, Sylvia. Listen to me. You must stop this madness. The man I loved would never risk the lives of so many for his own desire. I love you. Please, release me. Be happy and move on. I expected better of you, brother. You thought you could trick me with a mere illusion? You'll pay for evoking my beloved Sylvia. Now for my great work, the summoning of the Dragon Titan! Stand aside, young wizard. You cannot hope to stop me! A 
I failed you, Sylvia. All I wanted was to free you from death. I've done so much to help bring you back. Oh, Malister, I'm in a better place. Come to me. Rest now, my love. You can rest now. You've done it. Close the cover on this unfortunate chapter. It is unfortunate that you were drawn into such a dangerous battle, but you showed courage and ingenuity beyond anything I could have imagined. I have lost my brother, though the true Malister was gone long ago. I will return us both to Headmaster Ambrose's office now. I've opened a portal leading there. I suggest you use it. Bravo. Bravo, young wizard. Because you stopped Malister, you've saved every world upon the spiral. The headmaster looks at you with a twinkle in his eyes. I remember when you first enrolled at Ravenwood. I thought I saw something special in you. I apologize for the actions of my brother Malister. With your help, I have released Sylvia's spirit and have done my best to set things right. And I admit that I should have trusted your instincts about the young wizard, Ambrose. Though off to a rough start, the wizard has become a truly remarkable student. Ah, indeed. Now, how about heading back to our classes? I'm certain we can all use a break from adventure. No, I keep pistoling.